It recorded instantly? What the shit? OBS, did you fix yourself? What happened? They did do a an update that was supposed to be like, oh, we're not going to resource all get... No, wait, that's Discord. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, 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 that sounds like Discord. Um, hey, welcome back. It's episode... It's episode uh, 71. Burning up the dance floor. Thank you, Bars, for typing in Discord that uh, we're live. Because uh, Dirkbot just doesn't feel like it today. Dirkbot called in. <laughs> Dirkbot called in. It's, it's stuck in the snow. It can't make it to work. Yeah. <laughs> Dirkbot. Dance there's, a, there's a streamer I follow who lives in central Mississippi. And he was talking about how it was neg negative 17 a couple days in Mississippi. <laughs> Nothing weird about that. Nothing Money. weird at all. Hey, Chad, thanks for paying for being here. Um, go, go. Uh, you owe another uh, $10 for me tolerating your presence. The <laughs> I feel like I'm getting off like a, like super cheap right there. <laughs> no. um, I have water. What? Okay, hey, what happened last week, Joe? It's last session, last not week last week. On... D and D, um, we I believe started off. Ah, oh crap! I can't remember where we actually started. Do we? Do we start surrounded like uh, like uh, just starting in the morning, right? Right. I think we just woke up in the morning. I think so. Yeah. Okay. So we 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 started with our morning powwow. Uh, I believe we had pancakes. Um, Vanco and uh, <clears throat> uh, Keen were not with us at the moment. Uh, we discussed what we were, what our plans were, and I think we kind of landed on going to uh, the party instead of going to the warehouse where Keen said they were manufacturing uh, the the mages. Uh, so we, I don't remember exactly what made us realize this, but we realized that Vanko was no longer on our side. Something he did, uh, and we tried to run upstairs and found out that the door was blocked and uh, the building was on fire. So uh, we managed to get through the door. Uh, Duncan put the fire out over the course of several minutes because um, he's he's basically a human sprinkler anyway. So um, right, That's true. <laughs> that's <laughs> not a good thing to say about another person. <laughs> what do you mean? That's what I do, though. I, uh, I, yeah, I, I know. I understand. <laughs> I stand by what I say. Anyway. Um, and then Bagby and, uh, Ori went and chased after them. Unfortunately, they were not able to really get any hints of them. They, they kind of, they had a head start and they blend into the crowd. There, Dirk Pot is right on time. <laughs> um, so we, we found, or we, we explored the house and we found Spin Herschel. Me, Joe. <laughs> we found a puddle of Herschel, actually. Yeah. Oh, right. That was weird and creepy. Yeah. Um, and we... <laughs> Uh, Bob was able to communicate to us that Herschel needs living things to survive. Um, we we briefly discussed, or we brief, I don't know, maybe that was just in my head, but I think we kind of considered throwing Bob into it. Um, but we decided that, we decided that that was a little too murdery, and we uh, I went and bought a couple chickens and fed those to uh, Herschel, who came back to somewhat life. Uh, it came back to unlife um, and explained to us that Keen has like a lot of magic and did really unpleasant shit. Uh, and uh, that they, I don't remember if Herschel really had much in the way of info for us though. Did, does anyone remember anything? Besides Keen killed me. Um, no. Don't okay. If he knew anything. Okay. Uh, so we decided that we were going to go to the party and we were going to go crash that bitch. Um, so we all got ready. Uh, I asked Ori if he'd come along and help me out, uh, to do a thing. Uh, and I went, we went to the, to the house. Uh, I had Ori fly me up to the top of the roof where I drew the, um, the sigil thing for the, for the elf king. And all, uh, and 
then we went back to get ready. Uh, we all showed up at the party. Um, Duncan, we got in real quick, thanks to Duncan, uh, ignoring lines, which was pretty amusing. Um, <laughs> Beck being announced that she was the guest of honor, and the guy's like, uh, you're a guest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> which is fun. But, um, so we went in, uh, everybody did some various investigations and I believe it was Bagby found out. No, not, I don't remember. Somebody found out that there was a whole bunch of crossbowmen up on the balcony. Like, uh, Keen said he was going to do crucible. Whatever. I believe crucible did. Okay. Crucible figured that out. Uh, and, uh, so Ori and Bagby kind of went off on their own for a little bit with the rest of us just waiting until we heard something. And uh, they they busted into the balcony, murdered a few of the uh, crossbowmen. Uh, Bagby teleported over to the dance floor where uh, it looked like Keen was kind of some sort of like dais. Uh, Keen was like yelling at people and giving instructions. And she punched him right in the head. Uh, unfortunately, it was an illusion and uh it didn't do a whole lot but um luckily for bagby she wasn't riddled with crossbow bolts when duncan came in and literally froze like 20 people in one shot uh and ori uh used some wind and knocked like another 20 off the balcony so it was it was kind of uh kind of brutal um <laughs> brutal <and> god <laughs> Crucible and I walked in last minute to like, like steal a couple kills. So we helped. Uh, at the end, uh, well, previously before this shit show went off, uh, we did realize that there were some elves in um, uh, Feywild livery uh, walking around outside that we could see. They were sneaking. Yep. So after we killed all those guys, we heard Keen say from outside, too easy, boys or something like that and uh and then the doors were locked and the dais started moving and a very uh not nice red light started coming out and a minotaur started uh started running through the uh the elves outside and i believe that's where we got yes <laughs> pinkies and we have pinkies yep i think before this combat begins we should have a quick prayer to my grands, so Lady Umberley, please forgive our failures. Please guide us through these tr this troubling time and twist fate in our favor. Does that mean we all get to use your lucky feet? No. What's that up to me, though? <laughs> Let me go ahead and stop that right there. No. <laughs> um, that leads us uh, to right where we left off. So. Beep. Hey, look, it's right where we were last week. Oh, my gosh, really? <laughs> it really is. <laughs> wow. is, is Bo up top or is he down there with me? And he is up top. I'm okay. almost certain he's up top. Oh, I need to get. Yeah, rid I of, have not jumped down for any reason. I need to get rid of the little bow signifier that's written underneath him. Because <laughs> at some point I'm going to move that picture and then it's just going to say Bo there. This is Bo's square. Um, I can't show the whole picture, just the nature of the camera. Sorry, if I tried, it would be blurry as shit uh, and fish eyed as hell. So. The um, this is the um, as Joe put it, uh, dais that has moved forward, and behind it is where the light is coming from, and past that is the window out into the garden in which you are seeing some fighting already taking place. These is two it moving forward towards us. It the it is moving forward toward you. Okay. And the light is coming from behind it. Okay. On the ground somewhere. Um. I unfortunately did not write down your uh, initiatives from last week, but uh, it won't be super necessary right away unless you want to gang beat these two guys left. Uh, I mean, 
I'd probably just go finish them off. Hey, Zarkane, how you doing? Um. All right. Uh, I'll let but, you. Uh, are, are they like getting up or doing anything? They were just thrown off the balcony, so I think they both had gotten up as well, and they were in pretty bad shape. Uh, yeah, I th- yeah, I think Ori had just thrown them both off the balcony. Um, so let's go ahead and roll initiative to start with. Oh, I love these ice dice on the D and D. Start with a wah wah. Eh? All right, fair enough. Blame it on the reskin. <laughs> okay, sorry, I had to finish up a work thing. What are we doing? <laughs> We're initiative. yeah initiative. initiative. Okay. Yeah. Well, for me. <gasps> I rolled a natural nineteen, so that's a twenty-four. Twenty-four. I got this many. Four. <laughs> this many. Uh, and Uri. That is a gentleman's natural. Well, sorry, modified twenty. Tw- modified twenty. Okay. The two people in the bottom right are trying. My God. The rest of you. The hell. Um, I need just. So I just reloaded my Twitch on the screen, and it started now, like, loading previous messages in chat instead of just the chat on its own. Uh Um, But the way that it went and the text um, font and color made it look like Zarkane had said, Good evening, gamers. Welcome to the chat room. I was like, that is so polite of you, Zarkane. (laughs) Welcoming everyone to the chat room. Thank you. That's so nice of you. I feel welcome. I... I do too now. I'll tell you that. I'm tired. (laughs) (laughs) I'm so sorry. I apologize for whatever happens. I have a brownie. Cool. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Uh, And... Feel like he's lo- rolling a lot of different initiatives. He might have a lot of things come out on the board then. <laughs> yeah, I would never. Um... In fairness, we walked into this. All right, we know exactly what we we're doing. It just wasn't fairness, a very good gonna, idea as well. In all fairness, we're gonna fucking murder all these. <laughs> yeah, you'll do great. Um... That is not very powerful <laughs> language, there, Joe. Very evil. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, I'm, a, I'm I'm like a third warlock now. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's he's you know. He's... Oh, just because you're a third warlock means you can have a fucking potty mouth all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> this is I an actual worry. conversation that or <laughs> having. You guys better hope Steve doesn't jump in here. That's all I'm saying. The <sighs> you would be quite cross. You would be quite cross. Uh, okay. Is that brownie on that spoon there. So that's Bagby first uh, first up, and I'm going to ho- go ahead and let you roll perception because you have, um, based on your angle, you actually can see sort of what's, where the light is coming from behind the stage. Oh, God. Bars has a very good point. If you didn't Imagine sh- how disappointed the Minotaurs would have been if we hadn't done. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Party wasted. Your weather is drunk. Can one of you come pick it up and take it home, please? <laughs> Listen, our weather is all over the place. All right, it's 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 here, it's there, it's it's fucking everywhere. It's yeah. here. It's Texas. It's <laughs> I rolled a California. Nine? nine. Yeah. Um, you see. Uh, this would be pretty hard not to see. So you see uh, minotaurs walking up with uh, a lot of light coming from behind them. Up, I'm on of, the stage, aren't I? No, you you are on, you have traveled back up the stairs. And oh, I think right. you like kneecap two dudes on your way up if I remember properly. I did. Yeah, I remember this now. <laughs> yeah. 
I was going to do a goblin dance, but... (laughs) (sighs) Okay. Um, What do you do from there? Are those two men on the floor? They are. And very injured. (laughs) 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 Yeah. Bagby's feeling feisty. Okay. I'm going to acrobatically hoist myself over the edge and attempt to, like, uh, yeah, WWE wrestling suplex that man. Now you're talking my language. All right, um, let's go ahead and get an acrobatic roll. When did he get here? <laughs> he never leaves. That's a trick. That's a 21. You're doing a great job. How many flips do you do as you crush their skulls in? Okay, go ahead and roll to hit. We'll do a description after you murder them both. It's like Yoda from episode two. Uh, I was playing, I've been playing Battlefront 2 with Corbin. Um, and I got Laura to download it too, but I, uh, I was a droid and I was shooting and I'm like, I'm doing pretty good. I'm shooting all sorts of stuff. Hey, what's that? It's fucking Yoda. And it's just screaming. <laughs> and I scre- he killed me so fast. And I screamed so loud. I pulled my headset out and Corbin couldn't hear me anymore. And he goes, Oh God, he killed him. Oh God. He actually killed him. <laughs> uh, that's a 16 to hit. Uh, 16 to hit is definitely going to hit. Well, I rolled a 1 on damage. But I would like to campaign for adding fall damage onto that man as well. (laughs) You know what? I like what we're... Rule of cool, I like it. That's 20 feet, roll 2d6. Okay, so the first d6... uh, Oh, I should just roll... But you can really only roll it on that first guy. Yeah. Uh, so it's six plus another six, so twelve points of damage on that. Okay, man. that that guy is has passed from this mortal coil. Um, <laughs> what do you do to him before you go and murder his friend? Got, got a tiny elbow drop. Um, I mean that's pretty much what I do. I elbow drop onto that man, and then I do the cool thing where they kick their legs up and hop up real fast like they can do when they're on their back. It's called a hop up, yeah. Yeah, that. (laughs) And I turn and I look at the other one. The thing where they hop up? Mm -hmm. Kick up. Key up. Yeah. Uh, And you turn and look at the other one. Are you going to punch him? Are you going to... Is he standing or is he prone? He's standing. Yes, I will punch him. Okay. <laughs> That's a natural one. So, ten. To hit. Ten to hit. Uh, miss. Yeah. And is that it? Is that all you have? Um... That guy did. Yeah, that's gonna be it. I don't. I, I need to save some of my key for the minotaurs that I saw coming. Okay. Are you going to yell anything to your friends? Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna yell minotaurs. Okay. <laughs> Sounds great. Can I roll insight? Insight. There. I understood that. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you have to now. My, Mo- monsters. O- Ori, oh, your oh, turn. There, wolf. There. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come in. Might be an accent thing. I don't know. Tataka! Oh, I got a four. I think there are Meinsters coming up. <laughs> I don't know what those are, though. I don't know what those are, but I don't like them. Ori. Um, do I see the Minotaurs coming? Uh, you're up top, correct? You may roll. Yes. Okay. Because if I don't, what I do is very simple. <laughs> Shit myself and leave. We would all see the red light, though, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, it depends. Do you roll one? Because you might be looking the other way. 19. 19. Uh, yeah. And it's 
it's not just I'm going to cut back to um, online cam, to roleplay cam real quick. Uh, because these aren't just the Minotaurs. They're the bigger boys. Bigger boys? Where is that picture? There's too much stuff here. These boys. Eight. Okay, so is, is that... Well, I guess I don't see it, so I don't know. <laughs> Cow, man! You don't <laughs> have to turn on red light! <laughs> Walk the streets for money. You don't care if it's wrong or if it is right. Cowman! <laughs> Cowman! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ori, what do you do with that information? We have been. <laughs> we have trying to give you enough time. Dragging our feet into this battle. Here, well, so. uh. <laughs> I guess I would uh, flip on. I would kind of hang over the balcony to where I can see him. Do I uh, do I have a way to get line of sight on him? Uh, on the uh, sure. They'll have a they'll have a uh, plus one to AC due to partial cover. Okay, I want to try and turn one of them into a kitty cat. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> Uh, it's a wisdom 16 saving throw. Wisdom 16 saving throw. Where's the stat block on that? There it is. Sixteen exaxes. Does the tie go to the runner? How's that work? Tie goes to Defender. Defender. On saves. On saves, mm -hmm. yeah. All right. You have made its fur slightly more fluffable. <laughs> it's got a cat's <laughs> tail now. <laughs> Crap baskets. I really thought that was going to work. <laughs> there are minotaurs coming. <laughs> okay, is that it? Yeah, I'm not going to move from my spot, and I used a quick action to tell everybody what was going on. That seems like an appropriate turn. Okay. Uh well, if you didn't move from your spot, you're back there. Um, they, uh, um, there's a bunch of stuff that happens outside. Um, then it is Duncan's turn. Hearing what Ori said, I'll just look around and I, and I, and I yell out, let him come, wait, wait. And that's my turn. Okay. Uh, are you holding action then? I, I'm holding action. I suppose I'm ready in action if we're to do it properly. Yep. I'm ready, and of course I'm I'm ready in an ice ball. But I can't come until at least three of them are. Um, but three of them have come up out of the hole. I'm waiting for more wow. than just one. Okay. Jeez. I mean that's very specific, but good for you for knowing that about yourself. Um, I like I like how myself, Laura, I'm like all like turned back. <laughs> I can't believe Patrick didn't get on in on that. I I just happen to be more mature than the rest of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Um, okay, <laughs> that leads us to their turn. Uh, yep, and. <laughs> Well, first I need to... One of those elves is dead outside. You probably see his brains explode. <laughs> Did he send, like, the, sh the, the house cleaner elves? Like, the, <laughs> the fighters, goddammit. What the hell? Bobby is a free elf now. Oh. <laughs> it was Dobby that died. Dobby is happy. Okay. With his What's their fucking speed? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Full on gets a knife in the chest. He makes it to here. 
His is one of the more violent deaths. Yeah, he doesn't um, just get hit by death light. No, no. He, he was asking for it, though. You saw the yeah. way he was dressed. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> We didn't challenge you to be an asshole. <laughs> and three makes party. Right. And three just showed up then. They move. They run up the thing. Yeah. You, you got to wait technically till the end of their turn is how I think ready actions. Uh, Mike, I think ready actions fire when the conditions met. Mm -hmm. What was the condition? Three of them show up so we can come. <laughs> oh, that's true. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's three. Go ahead and right. blow your load, bud. Where the kisses I'll are. gather in all my power then. Mm -hmm. And it's swirling around. And I, and I, I yell... I yell, I yell, fury! And then at first, I've got to roll um, wild magic, and we'll see what happens. Yep, please. Ooh, wild magic, there's one. 18. 18. And then right down in between them all, 20, a 20 foot radius from the center of where those all three of those are, an ice ball comes crashing down from seemingly nowhere, and it explodes around them, and then... They each have to make, I believe it, let me see if that's a deck save. I believe it's a deck save of 17. We'll du double check that. Right, a deck save of 17. Okay. No. Yes. No. Right, 96 then. Damage. The ones that make it take half damage. 35 total damage. So half that would be, we got we round up or do we round down? Uh, down. So that would be what then? 15, 17 damage on the one that made it. Seventeen and thirty-six. You said thirty-five. Thirty-five. Sorry, I should so have done the math there. Two take thirty-five damage and one takes seventeen damage. All right. Nice. Good job. Okay, they're gonna finish the rest of their turn now. Okay. And, uh, or, Duncan, you've at least accrued some amount of aggro here. <laughs> don't I'm say. So. That's right. You, deep, you gotta be careful with the, the range DPS. You gotta wait till the tank brings them in. The, um, <laughs> the tank's aggro is the speed limit. If you go past the speed limit, you get pulled over. <laughs> um, and here's what the pulled over looks like. Uh... It does a 22 hit, Duncan. Of course it does. Okay. Well, you guys got you guys got stupid AC now. I don't know what hits you anymore. Um. Oh no, I've I've not done anything to increase my AC. Okay. <laughs> not yeah, thing. Duncan's got a shield. <laughs> would not help here. Two of them attack you. One misses. Uh, with their flat fire breath. Bends over and shoots a fireball across the room, hitting you for 13 damage as it shoots through the uh, the, And then the other one probably rams into the uh, wall behind you. Right, that fire comes up, man. It passes through me. Ah, but then I use my, I use my whale and, and my skin just becomes blue and shiny icy to help, you know, calm the pain of the, of the burn. Okay. What does that mean? I'm just trying to make it interesting for everyone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I didn't know if you were using like a reaction spell or something. Oh, nothing. Uh, like that. Just like, that's what, it just, it's his alum spell. And then the third one uh, goes after Joe because he's big and shiny in the middle of the room. Uh, 21 to hit. Yep. Okay. And that is uh, t 10 damage. Um, yeah, keep... Is this, is this a spell? Because I have resistance to damage from spells. Uh, no, it's a breath weapon. Okay. That's fair. Is it just one of them shooting at me? Just one. And that is their turn. 
Um, so we're, we're going to go to... Next up is... That, and then... No. Oh, next up is uh, Joe. Okay. The one in the middle is the one that took less damage somehow. <laughs> okay. Which one hit me? Uh, the one on the far right. He was right in the eye of the of the I'm still gonna go out to the middle one. So, um, what I'm gonna do is uh, I, I have my glaive out still. Glaiven. Uh, glaiven. Um, uh, I would like to use my paladin spidey sense. Are these things demonic at all? Um, yes, and because of that, actually, I need to tell Crucible and and uh, <sighs> Bagby to do their thingy. Sorry. <laughs> Way oh. to get us busted, Joel. Sorry. I do more damage on smites versus demons. <laughs> nope. So I take one d Oh, actually... One. Yeah, they have, they are. Never mind. Wisdom. So I take five points of damage. Rolled a 23 on my DC roll. Okay. You're um, fine. Are these guys gores? Like, can I put that together? I, I don't know if I ever saw that picture of them down in the Underdark, but... No, the... Well, you don't know if they're gores or not, but they, they are the exact things that you fought in the Underdark. Um, oh, okay. Okay. Um, all right. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I've got my uh, my glaive out. Uh, the, the blade starts shining as I, I kind of lean forward and then I take a jump and at the at the top of the jump I cast Misty Step mm -hmm. and I'm going to be about 20 feet above the middle one and Laura I did not steal this from you I wanted to do this last week <laughs> against one of these fuckers <laughs> um, so the one, on I, the, the one in the middle? yeah I'm going to teleport about 20 feet above him okay. and I'm going to just try to Come down on him with the with the spear. Okay. Like, we should retitle this episode "Death from Above." Yep. Uh, not amazing. Sixteen. <laughs> oh, Phil. Do I get advantage? No, probably not. But uh, sixteen. Sixteen to hit. Yeah. Uh, just hits. All right, nine damage, and then I am also going to smite him. Smitten. Uh, and he takes an extra D8 because he's a demon. It's also a fun way to bear hug flying monsters. Sure. Has so many uses. Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, 12 extra damage. He takes um, 21 damage. 21 total. Gotcha. Yep. Uh, and I guess this is kind of up to you. Uh, can I attack again with my extra attack? Um, does using Misty Step count as an action? Counts. Well, it's a bonus action, but I get an extra attack when I attack. Okay, yeah, then go ahead. Okay. Uh, oh, that's a natural 19, so I'm guessing that hits. Yes. Uh... Literally the lowest damage I can roll. Eight damage. But I'm going to smite again. Why, orcs? Why? <laughs> Just a chihuahua another, and a wig. Another 21 damage. That's like a baby fail, isn't it? It must be Ori's pet. Yeah. <laughs> another how much damage? Sorry. 21. Another 21. Gotcha. He's doing the, he's doing the paladin thing. What other spells? Uh, <laughs> I missed he stepped. <laughs> I, it, it got me into smiting range. You did. Um, <laughs> okay. You. Um, so that's uh, Joe's turn. It now goes to Bo Cephas. And he's not. Oh, <laughs> you just hear it. All right. <clears throat> and he's going to roll acrobatics. <laughs> he is going to land right on the table. Ooh, he did very poorly. 
<laughs> that is five fall damage. All oh, right. As poor Bo falls. Oh, boy. And I'm going to say he only has half movement now. So he's going to make the like here. Okay. Um, next, and then last up is Crucible, finally. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so is that thing still stumbling around by Bagby? Yeah. All right. That thing um, is a human hey, being, Crucible. Your, your spiritual weapon is still up, by the way. Yes, I know it is. Okay. Um, but what I'm going to do first mm -hmm. is uh, just hit him with a... Uh, uh, hold on. Uh, just with a, a Toll the Dead cantrip, so it's uh -huh. a saving throw of 17 wisdom. Toll the Dead. 17 wisdom. Okay. Uh, makes it. Okay, and then the spiritual weapon's gonna head on over to get him. Okay. And that missed two as well. Well, probably. What'd you go for? Would you hit it? They don't have much armor. Oh, okay. Uh, that was 12 to hit? 12 to hit. Yeah, you hit it. They, okay. they don't have much armor. And then the damage for that is 13. Oh, um, the battle. 13? Yeah, you kill that. The, the, that thing murders him. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, so no attack of opportunity on Bagby when she rushes in to do the bigger work. Yay, you're the best. Do you, would you like to move? Would you like to move at all, Crucible? Um, well, the the spiritual weapon was actually my bonus uh, move. So I think I got to stay where I'm at. You, no, you, you have a move action, too. You have an action, a bonus action, and a move action. Then I'm going to move over by Bagby. Because I want to be on that right hand side. Right, uh, right over by Bagby. Yeah. Okay. I'll just put you right in front of your spiritual <clears throat> weapon there. <laughs> oh, oh, this, is, this chat conversation is bringing me, <laughs> bringing me joy. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he's bringing the thunder today. Um,. You scared two more orcs. <laughs> okay. Damn it, orcs. Uh, that brings us back to the top, and that's Bagby. Okay. Um, I would very much like to do monk shit and run forward in between those two beasties. Right in between them? Yeah. Yep. Watch him as he goes. And I would like to punch uh, the one that is on the stairs. Sorry, I gotta do some highlight gang real quick. Oh yes, highlight gang. What? Why didn't it do it? What? Mark just said the power of the highlight gang brought two more back. <laughs> we just need to bring up penetration, then we get Scuddy's in here too. Scuddy was here earlier. Oh, he was in here. Oh shit. Okay. Might still be here. <laughs> um. Anywho, I would like to run up and do do monk things on sorry, the man Scuddy's. on the stairs. Okay. A punch and a punch and. Do it. A punch, punch, punch. So, attack number one mm -hmm. is a 26 to hit. That hits. Okay. Offhand attack is a 20 to 20 hit. 20 hits. Okay. Um, bonus action attack is a 27 to hit. 27 to hit. Hits. 
Okay, so we'll start with those three. Okay. So we've got nine damage for the first hit. Six damage for the second hit. And ten damage for the third. Um, so that's 25 points of damage to that boy. Uh-huh. He's still up? Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> of course. Um, I would like to try a stunning strike. Uh, no. No, that seems stupid, because I'm assuming that they're high in constitution. Um... I will flurry of blows. Okay. Um, to take two more unarmed strikes as a bonus action. Do it. Oh, I already did a bonus action, so I'll just pretend I did flurry of blows. I'll take one more. Uh, it's a ten. Ten more? Okay. No, ten. Ten to hit. Oh, okay. not does not hit. <clears throat> does not hit. That is what I do. Okay. Um. Good job. Uh, Ori? My <laughs> god, why? <laughs> well, it uh, seems like an appropriate time to... Uh... You gotta post pictures of DirtCon if you actually do. <laughs> yeah! <clears throat> and... If we ever make t-shirts, I think we need to send complimentary DirtCon oh, yeah. t-shirts to... Skeddies and Orcs. Moonbeam! <laughs> we would like to thank our sponsors, Booze and Hot Sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Great. So, um, the one that Bagby just uh, punch, punch, punched. Uh huh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just lay down a moonbeam. Moonbeam! Do it. On him from, you know, from through the window where we could previously see the elves getting murdered. Um, and uh, that guy there. He is going to have to do something on his turn. Um, yeah. Okay. Or Sounds wait, good. It's whenever a creature enters the spell's area. Does me putting it on top yes. of it count? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do it right okay. now. Okay. Um, he needs to make um, a con saving through a 16. Okay. Well, <laughs> Damn that. Damn it, Moonbeam! Oh my god, he actually doesn't pass. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> okay, then. Roll the two. <laughs> Let's see how this turns out. That's 4d10. 4d10? Jesus! Uh, it takes 20, uh, 20 radiant damage there, bud. Okay. Good job. You got him. Not dead, but you hit him. Um... Okay. E next up. Okay. Next up are the LV. <laughs> <laughs> this moon is so bright. Jesus Christ. It's like a it's like a regular moon and then there's a big like uh um what uh magnifying glass just directly below it and then it like <laughs> pushes it in and that does Yeah. Just that's like right. ants. Yeah. Um the uh, elves are going outside, and they are in. That's fucking three hits. Okay. So that's going to be. Go. Knock that down. Okay. Um, now it's going to be, uh, Duncan's turn. Right. I gather my power once again. Mm-hmm. And I scream fury! But this time... Well, first I got to roll, um, wild magic, see mm -hmm. what happens. Six. Ooh. That was close. That was a close one. And in between the two, um, the two manators... Uh, furthest to the left there oh, a burst Gorgon, of, you know, of snow boo. and ice crystals begin to swirl and starts to shred them and they have to make a deck save a 17 which one it's oh. 
between the um the two on the, the two left to the right. Okay, to the oh, right. I'm sorry, no, to the left. You're right. Yeah. Okay. So not where Bagby is, but um, how big is the uh, circle? It's, it's a five foot circle. Five so foot it, circle. It should okay. hit both of them. Both. Of those I will two. put it right here so that it hits them both. Okay. Lovely. So they have to both make a deck save seventeen. Deck save seventeen. No and no. Right, so full damage, 5d6. See how we do? Uh, just 18 damage to both of them. Okay. Um, math. Um, okay. Great job. You gonna move? No. I'll stay right there. Okay. Sounds great. Oh, you get call. Right. <laughs> Melee sorcerer. Um, you. Uh, who's next? It was just one, and then it's their turn. Cool. This one, uh, far left, is going to go first, and it is going to charge Joe. I am going to swing at it as it comes into range. Okay. I think that hits. 24? Hits. Maybe. It stops, actually, Mike, because Sentinel. So I actually, like, basically skewer it on my spear as it comes at me. Okay. So roll roll your damage. Yep. Uh, that's a two, so I'm going to re-roll, because I can re-roll ones and twos. That's another fucking two. Re-roll. Uh, it's only twos. It's all twos. What the fuck? Is my dice broke? Okay. Okay, 14. 14. Yes. All right. Good job. And the next one's going to swing at you, Joe. He, he could still fireball me if you want. Oh, he can still stop. take an action? I didn't know if it... Doesn't stop him from doing things. He just can't move anymore. Sets his movement to zero. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, well, he'd, yeah, he'd probably fireball then. That is a 16, 22. Yep. And 13. Nope. 13. Oh, 13 damage. 13 damage, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, the guy next to you is going to swing twice with the great axe that he holds. They all have an axe. Yep. Um, 21 and 8. One of those hits. It did. Uh, 19 damage from the Great Axe hit. Uh, ow. Um, and then the other one next to Bagby is going to tag Bagby. Okay. And that's a, nope, minute, that's a 2. And a 21. 21 hits. 21 <laughs> hits. That Mr. is. Bagby needs to make a Constitution saving throw on its turn. It happens every. Okay. Moonbeam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Moonbeam's that, good. That on its turn, like poison tick damage. Okay. Uh, it does not pass. Keep. It takes twenty-two Four additional radiant damage. Fourteen Bagby. <laughs> <laughs> so much shit going on on other people's turns. Uh, 22, you said 22? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. That, um, and, uh, where'd that guy come from? He shows up over here. Um, have him do full sprint probably since we're fighting uh, he can make it to here well I don't know where he would uh, let's have him go toward uh, uh, he'll go by you Bagby so you can take an attack of opportunity if you'd like um Did 
we take out all the archers? Yeah. Yep. Last time? Okay, then yes, I will use Best of your time. knowledge, yes. Pop. Kay. 27. Hits. Seven points of damage. Okay. He does not stop moving. I don't have Sentinel. Okay. Um, Crucible. Hey, what's up, dude? You're real tall, <clears throat> mate, and you're real tall and silver. Um, it's going to charge you. You need I only take cash. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I need to roll. Who the fuck has cash? That's eighteen to hit. Nineteen AC. Nineteen AC. Okay, it misses you. Good. Good, good, good. So you're fine. I actually would end up past you at that point and over here. Um, okay. And that is uh, now Joe's turn. Um, I would <coughs> cough up a little blood. Oh, yell. Oh, Bori! <laughs> and then I'd get... Uh, and I'd get murdering um i'll swing at the one in front of me mm -hmm. do 17 to hit for the first attack say yes uh Six, 16 yes. hit right yeah okay. yeah yeah 16 okay so 17 uh hits. first damage is nine and let me see how many smite slots i have left yeah i'll smite him wrong dice wrong uh nine plus 16. And this, the smites are radiant. I don't know if that matters. 25. It doesn't in this case. Okay. 25. Um, 25 for the first attack. Um, I've got two more attacks. Is he still kicking? Yep. <laughs> okay. He looks pretty beat up, but yes. Uh, next one's a 14, so that I'm guessing that misses. Yes. Okay. Last one with the extra strike is a 22. That hits. That is a 1d4 plus strength. That's 5. And I'll smite him again. Actually, no, I won't. I'll just do 5. I'll save some spell slots. Okay. Not, not dead. Looks pretty haggard. Um, bleeding a lot. Uh... Then that goes to Bo's turn, and he's going to run to Crucible's help. Okay. Is that the noise Bo makes as he's running over there? <laughs> There's so many stat blocks I'm having to click between shit constantly. Uh, that hits. Okay, cool. I also like how Bo's a little smaller than the rest of us, so you know that he's not a PC. Um, and he hits twice for uh, 19 total. Okay. Um... And it is now doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, Crucible, your turn. As the beast was rolling past me, I reach out with my open hand to touch him and inflict wounds upon him. Do it. My favorite spell. 26 to hit. Hits. And that's 7d10 worth of damage. You guys say lots of big numbers. 40. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that hurt. <laughs> it uh, roars in pain. It uh, uh, takes a couple steps, but turns to look at you. Damn tootin' it does. <laughs> Uh, that takes us back to the talk, Babby. I'm gonna punch some more, cause that's what Bagby do. 
punch them till they die. Um, a punch. That is seventeen. Seventeen. Uh, that hits. hits. Okay. Um, three. Yeah. I am going to do these individually this time um, because I would like to. So that's seven points of damage for that one. Mm -hmm. I would like to attempt stunning strike. Okay. Um. So do a con saving throw DC sixteen. Passes. Okay. Um, punch number two is a twenty-eight to hit. Twenty-eight hits. Mm-hmm. It's another seven points of damage and another stunning strike, please. Um, you don't need to use a stunning strike. What would you like oh. to do? <laughs> um, yeah, just like just like I said, I punch him till he dies. I basically make wine out of whatever region I'm punching. Damn. <laughs> blood, uh, blood and a little bit of fire pop out of its mouth as it drops to the ground in a large heap. Excellent. Um, so I still have one more punch that I can land that I will turn around and do on the boy behind me. Okay, do it. Yeah, it's a natural one. I have rolled three natural ones tonight. That's because you're not using Puddle Fist Productions Patrick dice roll. Cool dice roll. I'll pull it up. <laughs> <laughs> it will be like when I put dice in dice jail. As soon as it betrays me, I'll go back to the D and D Beyond. Oh yeah. My, okay. By the way, I forgot I still had spiritual weapon going. Well, we missed it. Oops. Yeah, Sorry. It's it, it's still up though for his name. Yeah, it's still up. Yeah. Um okay. Baby. Mm -hmm. Are you done? Uh yes. Okay. Uri. Okay. Um well, uh, I'm going to go ahead and um use my action, my normal action to move the beam. Okay. Carefully around to not hit Bagby. Okay. And uh, put it on that uh, on the dooter who is just west of Bagby. So it goes do 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 and it goes over there and shoots him. Okay. And uh, then he's gonna do a con save and throw. Uh twenty. Okay, he makes it so he only takes half, so he takes thirteen points of radiant damage. Okay. I'm gonna use my bonus action to hey, throw some hi, up. Hi, hi, hi. He dies? How does he die? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Like the 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 wood beam just kind of goes through and it like hits a weird spot in the glass and narrows uh -huh. and just like kind of goes through him and he just kind of sits there, blinks twice, and then splits in half. Gotcha. <laughs> okay. Oh, Gotcha. And then uh, I'm gonna use Bomb of the Summer Court with my uh, bonus action and heal up Josum. Yay, that's me. I'm gonna use uh, six of those there okay. dice. Um, so that is six dice, six plus six temporary hit points for 23 points of healing. Good job. Um, 23, six of that's temporary hit points? Yes. Okay. Or at least it would become temporary hit points if you if it healed you over. Oh, no, I didn't get healed over. So I just healed 23? Yeah. Okay. Um, and then um, that there is uh, all I can really do with my turn. Okay. Um, uh, that takes us to the elves' turn. Um, as, at, right as that one dies, through the back window, I can't show it on the map, but through the back window, the minotaur they were fighting outside tumbles through the window with two of them on top of it with the spears. It has another one dead hanging from a horn. <laughs> 
There, you can. We're, we're doing a little better than the elves. <laughs> a little better, but they're 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 yeah they're trying. <laughs> they're not useless. Okay. Yep. Yep. <laughs> they're trying their little hearts out. See, you can see it over there. There's some like, uh, <laughs> uh the a few of them outside, a couple of them outside take off running another direction, and the two that were on top of it do some extra stabs just to make sure. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um. That leads us to Duncan. Right. So, um, the, the only one that's left over there, the the, the one um, that's just to just to the side of Joe. Then mm -hmm. I'll just use a um, a cantrip and a and a, a spear of ice forms in my hand, and I throw it directly at him. So first, it's just to hit twenty six to hit. 26 to hit. That hits. Lovely. Then um, 2d10 2D damage. So we'll see what... Just 10 damage then. Okay. And which one was this? The left or the right one? Sorry. Uh, still the one on the left then. Okay. Over by Joe. All right. Uh, anything else you'd like to do? Uh, yes. I just got to make sure I can do it. Um, let's see here. I can do... I'm going to spend two sorcery points uh, and do quicken spell and do another cantrip. I can do that, right? Two cantrips. You, you can you can actually quicken a regular spell if you want. You absolutely can quicken a cantrip, though, if you want. Right. And I'll just throw another um, another ice javelin at him then. Do it. For 21 to hit. And that hits. And 16 damage. Lots of damage. Ooh, yeah. That guy just got two icicles in the side of his head. <laughs> Uh, roar drops to a knee, blood shooting from it, roars back at you. Um, okay. That leads us to... Oh, um, yes. So they are going to go now. Um, the one that you hurt, Crucible, is going to spin and swing at you, okay? Uh, um, that is a 23... And a uh, crit. Showing the camera. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you picked it up. You could have easily moved it. <laughs> you suck. For <laughs> Don't start this. Don't start this. For a second, I thought about Laura's uh, character's ability to multi crits. And yeah. I that like, I wish campaign. I was rainbow. But yeah. I'm not rainbow. Not today. Uh, it sp spins around with two uh, great axe swings and does 42 to you to match your 40. Um, crucible. Ayo. <laughs> 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 He's muted. You're muted. You're muted. Good thing I bought my healing potions last week. Smart, smart, smart. Um, the hit was palpable. Uh, the guy on the floor here is uh. Real mad, and he's going to try to jump up to the second floor uh, and climb up. Okay. The, oh, uh, yeah, I can actually take a swing at him then. Mm -hmm. uh, Go for as it. He tries to flee from me. Or, well, that's probably not what he's doing, but that's how I choose to interpret okay. it. Okay. <laughs> Go for it. Yes. Uh, 22 to hit. The hits. And he doesn't go anywhere. I know. <laughs> You're my buddy. You Damage. stay with me. <laughs> Damage. 12 damage. Okay. You're locked in here with me. <laughs> this is the first time I've really... Like, kind it of, uh, spins... It, 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 you stab it so it spins and fireballs you. Okay? Boom! Okay. <laughs> Shit! Oh, 22! Nah, I'll re-roll yep. it. I'll re-roll it. Okay. Keep um, him on this planet. 18. Uh, 18 does not hit. Okay. So, miss. Um, 
Then uh, that guy went. And then where's our boy down here? Too many tokens. Too many tokens. Too many tokens. Too many tokens. There he is. The door bursts open as another one flies through. Um, a couple of nobles. Uh, what's left of them drug underneath it. Oh, shit. That's right beside me. No, you're... Well, wait. Is that on the ground floor? or the? There was, there was a second floor, yes. Okay. okay. The, so bodies, right you, the bodies of the two nobles fly off into the room somewhere. Um, right. It, it, well, let's go 50-50. Um, Ori, are you high or low? I'm freaking high. <laughs> <laughs> He's always a bit high. Rolled a one. So, uh, that's a, that, that's a, that's a Duncan. <laughs> It will be moving away from you, so or you could take a quick reaction if you'd like. Oh, did I take Warcaster? I think I did. Do you have like a stick or a fork on you has, or something? If he has Warcaster, he can cast a spell at it. I know. Yeah, I do. Do it. Feats are some feats are really strong in five E, and some are completely worthless. <laughs> Grappler, for instance. Yeah. Actor, for instance. Actor with warlock that can change at will, I think would be right, really. That's fun. a that's a twenty one to hit. Twenty one hits. It. It's got to be a, a bit of a timeout there yeah, because yes. it's leaking time. Leaking time. Leaking time. Leaking time. Oh, I'm Mister Baby. Oh no 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 don't move. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> We look with our eyes. <laughs> but oh, Dad, God, that was so much fun. Let's play with that, Dad. It's lo looking All right, so cute. Duncan, the Elder Butter God has spoken. You are removed from this combat. <laughs> well, I've been taken to a totally different plane of existence. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Well, what are we gonna do? Yeah. There's probably doing, less like Minotaurs there. Probably true. Oh. Easy, baby. What's she doing, like an? Are you just hanging out there with earphones on your face? That's good. He looks mischievous. He's doing the emotion wheel by himself. I can't he help him. Touch he things. To oh, that's good. Well, he's working on it. Mm -hmm. All right. Say I, bye, -bye I realized everybody. after the fact Say that bye -bye. what I did was dumb, but it was a knee-jerk reaction, so it's fine. Would you? What did you cast? My Shit. only basic attack spell, which is produce flame. Oh, that's, that's something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, probably better than you punching him. Go ahead and uh, cast Produce Flame real quick. Go ahead and do it. Yeah. Uh, I Ooh. I hit him for seven. How much does that heal him for? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it does not heal him. He, however, doesn't appear to take any damage from fire. Oh, right. It's made of fire. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Hey, Duncan, what's up? Well, you know, a big uh, fire minotaur coming right at me. Great axe attack. That's going to be uh, 22 and 11. 22 then? Um, 6 plus... Uh, 17 damage as he hits Ooh. you with his great axe. 17. The, I feel the blade slice across my chest and it severs my vest. So now I'm just wearing like half a vest up on top there. Oh God, he found a way to take his shirt off. What little <laughs> shirt he was wearing. But then it's also some blade in there and it's going down over my rippling abs. There's no women here to look at you. God <laughs> damn. All right. Why are hey, you the, the always the horniest character? <laughs> I'm just describing what Maybe happened. Maybe you don't count. right now. <laughs> it's just what happened. Bagby doesn't count and she knows it. That's because they're in the friend zone, remember? Yes. Look, just because I'm a goblin does not mean that I do not identify with a particular gender identity. I am a woman, but I do not find Duncan ripping his shirt off and attractive. That's what I fucking meant. <laughs> I mean, really, 
it's not like he took it off in a sensual matter. He get he got like sliced open by an axe. We should right. be concerned, right? There there needs off. to be some big tittied, probably a bad guy wandering around. <laughs> then he'd be totally into her. Stealing your hop in that sword. Um <laughs> Okay. You uh and that's the end of theirs. Uh that leads into Joe. Okay. Uh I'm a touch distracted because I just saw what Laura wrote in chat. Rush Limbaugh died. Yeah, he died today. I shouldn't feel good about someone dying, but <laughs> <laughs> that sentence are. there, I guess. All right. Um, so anyway, uh, it's a shame. this car in front of me, how, how beat up does he look? Uh, he looks pretty fucking beat up. I'll be honest with you. Okay. There's a lot of blood and stuff coming out of him. A lot of blood okay. and dark and pus and just stuff. so I'm not metagaming, I would notice the one on the balcony, right? Oh, yeah. The, the, it splintered the shit out of the doors okay. that were locked the, there. A noble flew past me. It yeah. did a superhero landing. Parts of the door flew past you. Okay. I probably should have right. had you and Bagby roll dexterity saving throws, but I didn't. <laughs> um, I'm going to attack the one in front of me and try to finish him off. Uh, crap. 13 to hit is a miss. Second attack. 14 is a miss. Oh, my God. This is terrible. Last one's a 19. That that hits. Hits. Uh, unfortunately, that's only a 1d4 damage. But at least it's max damage, so that's nine. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and smite. You don't need to. I'm going to save this. I'm going to not smite. (laughs) Kill him. (laughs) How do you do that? Uh, I'm very distracted by the shit flying past me, and I see Duncan get hit. Uh, And uh, and I know Ori's up there, too. Um, So I'm like, shit, and just stab him once real quick. (laughs) And, uh, and, uh, yeah. And, and then I cast Misty Step and teleport right next to Duncan. Okay. Right, so right, right by the Minotaur, too, yep. if I can. Yeah. Now I got you there. Yep. And that is all I got. Um, there's no reaction to that, is there? I don't believe so. I mean, if you want him to take a swing at me, you can, but I, I don't... I I'm going like, to say... I didn't walk. I mean, yeah, I'm going to say no. You just appeared there. It's not. Yeah, I'm going to say no. Um, Okay. Might be a slight look of bewilderment. (laughs) Yeah. Right before he asks you a few questions. Uh, (laughs) uh, Bo's turn. Bo will. He's got. uh, Hits and hits. For. And oh, that's eleven and seven, so eighteen. Eighteen damage, Bo! Yay! Okay, Crucible. Hoping that he doesn't have much left, trying to conserve some spells. I'm just gonna do Toll the Dead once more time. Wisdom saving throw of seventeen. 17 exaxes. What's that? 17 exaxes. So it's fine. Okay. Then the uh, spiritual weapons flipping in. Yep. 17 to hit. From the top rope. 17 hits. And a mere seven damage. Okay. Is that your turn? That's my turn. Okay, fantastic. Um, that takes us to back to the top. Bagby. Okay. I have surveyed the situation. And I see... <laughs> a lot happening. I see <laughs> my, my squishy boy Duncan down there, but Joe's there now. And but I also see two beefy men on that other one. I I'm having an existential crisis of which one I should go punch. I'll go punch the one closest to me. Do it. With bow and crucible. Okay, I'm gonna put you right above it. 
<laughs> and the punch him once. That's a 13. 13 does not hit. And the punch him again. And I move to uh, Patrick's dice. Because I rolled another natural one. <laughs> and a 16. 16 is exactly You hit. Wonderful. I hit him one time. Yeah. One time, one time. One the time, one time, one six time. Six points of damage. And we will do stunning strike. Do it. Con saving throw. Um, uh, 11. Ha ha, he fails. He is stunned until the end of his next turn. Okay. Which means that all attacks on him have advantage. All right. Um, that takes us to Ori. Hey, hey, Moonbeam. Moonbeam, over here. Over okay. here, yep, that, that guy. <laughs> all right. Moon laser. On saving throw. Um, 11. He does not make it. Okay. He takes 24 points of radiant damage. Got him. And then I am going to uh, use my last bit of bomb of the summer court to try and repair uh, Duncan's chest and his vest. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's a little bit of mending in there. Just thematically, a little bit of mending for, ev for everyone. Okay. <laughs> and it's going to be... Uh, 3d6 plus 3. Healed for 16 damage. Thanks. Oh, that felt quite nice. <laughs> when it touched the skin. <laughs> All right. Uh, Ori's well, turn is over. And a heal and a done. Ori's turn is over. The elves that were in the back of the room, uh, they uh, take off back outside after something off to the left that you cannot see. Um... That takes us to Duncan. Right. Um, Duncan. Suppose I'll just... Um, I suppose I'll just toss another um, ice javelin at him then. Okay. Going right in front of me. Yep. He's still going. So 16 to hit. The hits. 12 damage. Okay. So I stagger backwards. And whoosh, whoosh, you you make all those noises. <laughs> 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 yes, you do. Uh, you hit it. It roars back at you. The um, are you done? Um. Right. Then I'll take that moment to <laughs> leap over the edge of the. Of the balcony, then, and land on the on the dance floor. Um, you will be leaving it. It gets to take a tap of opportunity against you if you leave its area. Fine. Okay. So go ahead and roll acrobatics. Eighteen. You're fine. Just fine. Land very, uh, very gracefully. Uh, Nineteen to hit. Right. As you jump, that hits. Yes. Always. Okay. I always get hit. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, 19 damage as you jump over the balcony, slicing you across the back. Takes the other half of my vest off. <laughs> so now I've just got. <laughs> the, the fuck am I even here for? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you land on the floor safely. Do you move away? You have more movement if you'd like. 
Right. I'll move uh, off towards um, Crucible then. Okay. I'll get you about there. Okay. Just like um, halfway there. Right? Yep. That's great. Uh, they're halfway there. Uh, at this point, everyone hears um, what can only be described as an explosion somewhere else in the house. The whole man, the whole manor uh, shakes and rumbles. Do I get a sense from what direction it came from? Um, you can roll perception to know that knowledge, to have that knowledge. Is that everybody? That's everybody. Yeah, everybody. Okay. I got a three. <laughs> Loud sound go boom. I'm I'm so <laughs> proud when Joe rolls completely shit. Seven for Crucible. Nope. Twenty three. Eighteen. Eighteen. Bagby. That's a hard no. That's six. <laughs> <laughs> You beat Joe? Uh, Duncan uses, what, 15, you said? Uh, actually, it's a 16. 16. So, uh, yeah, right. Um, uh, Duncan and Ori, you know it's somewhere within the the uh, building. Crucible, based on how loud it was and how much vibration, you, um, and then the, you could hear the screaming of some of the nobles out in the uh courtyard area that dance floor the entry way um you know it's from there because a lot of that got silenced real quick you also crucible hear shouting in a language um that's not common i bet i know Wait, hmm. Crucible doesn't understand it though. What well, I don't know what Crucible language language is Crucible has. Common, draconic, goblin, and under common. You do not know the language. Okay, I figured it was goblin. <laughs> um. Okay. You. Uh, that leads us to uh their turn. It's going to. Kind of doesn't matter who, so it's going to swing at Bull. This guy over here. Um, that's a hit. And a hit. No, not Bull. Eighteen. Ooh, Bo takes uh, two real, real hefty swipes um, across him, and he he gets he gets bloodied up pretty quick. Large gashes across his chest and stomach. Did he manage to keep his vest on? Uh, well, he's wearing he's wearing clothes like a fucking human, right. like, a, <laughs> like a fucking person. Yeah. He's wearing armor like you're fucking supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> you narcissistic douche. <laughs> uh, okay, and then the other one is uh, fighting Joe now, I guess. Yep, come at me. Um, miss. And I'm the fighting this ballad in the wall. 23, so that'll hit. 10. It four. does take that radiant damp. It does do that constitution okay. thing at the start of its turn. 18 damage to you, uh, Joe. Ow. And 19 con save. Or? Okay, he'll take half of 25. So, yeah, 12. 12. Okay. Um, then we're at Joe's turn. My turn. Um, I'm just going to swing it. Because I'm starting to run low on stuff. Can't imagine 18. why. 18. 18? 14 damage on the first hit. Good hit. Palpable yep. hit. 26 for the second hit. Uh, 10 damage. 
Uh, 22 for the last hit, and that is 8 damage. Almost max. Okay. Nice. Good job. Um, Bo's turn. He's fucking hurt, but, you know, he's a grumpy old man. Angry. Yeah, <laughs> it's not going to make him stop. So, <laughs> miss and hit as he hits it for grand total of 11 damage. And, wait. Okay, uh, that leads us to Crucible. I'm going to let you know uh, if you sneeze on this thing, it'll fall over at this point. Second verse, same as the first. Pull the dead. Do Wisdom it. 17. Wisdom 17. Uh, that Bring was a 7. That was a 7. Rolled a 7, so did not okay. pass. 2 die 8 damage. Uh, it's actually 12, because he's hurt. He's very hurt. Uh, 11 damage. How does it happen? Oh, let's see. That was simply a toll the dead. So, um, I say the pressure of the bells sounding around him just kind of like crushes cranium from both sides. <laughs> nice. It was it only told the dead, so this really graphic, horrible thing. <laughs> <laughs> it drops. Uh, would you like to do anything else, Crucible? Um, yes, I'm spinning around, and the spiritual uh, uh, spirit uh, weapon weapon is flying up for the other one. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Twenty-one to hit. Hits. Four. I love that visual, by the way, of like you just like as a like cleric just pointing and your weapon just flying off and hitting something. And it wouldn't make any cool noise. It'd be like a dong as it ha yeah. flies across yeah. the room. Yeah. <laughs> Not much, but it is six damage altogether. That's listen. You got to kill. You did six more damage. We're doing work here. Okay. Um. Uh, Bagby. I run to the last boy who's there and the punch him in the face. Um, he is upstairs. Um, <laughs> y'all haven't seen me do this yet, but, uh, so here's, here's something fun that you didn't know I could do. I can run up walls. <gasps> this will be Naruto waiting for. This is also Naruto. Here he comes again. The <laughs> <laughs> I can run up and around the walls. Did you like Pronounced that? Sanic. Did you like that joke, Joe? <laughs> yeah, because you combine two totally different things. It's great. <laughs> uh, 25 to hit on hit number one. That hits. Hit number two is a 26. Hit. Um... And then I would like to do Flurry of Blows as my bonus action. So one of those is an 11 to hit. Nope. And the other is a 17. That hits. So three. Mm-hmm. One, two, three, D6, plus a 15. 29 points of damage. 29 points of damage. How do you do it? I run off the wall. I get a little bit of air as I come down, and I start punching and spinning at the same time, like the Tai Bo punches. <laughs> <laughs> like the Simpsons punches, if this hits you, it's your fault. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, just sort of cave in his, his cranium. There's a... Stealing Crucible's words. All right. Um, great job. So you, uh, I'll, I'll go to RP cam real quick. You guys uh, find yourselves alone in there, screaming from outside. The door um, 
uh, on the first floor is still shut. Uh, the door on the second uh, fl- floor is blown open. Um, what's he doing? Like to rush towards that first floor door and see if it's locked or if it's or if it opens. It Maybe is do something since I was next in initiative. Sure, go ahead. A take like out a little seed, a blow on it, it glows white. I toss it into the middle of the room, and it turns into a big ball of light. And uh, six creatures of my choice uh, get healed for three d eight, which is all of us. Whole group, Including 3d8. Bo, so, right? yeah. All of us in bow. So, what, uh, how much is Mass that? cure wounds. Each person will heal for. Twenty-three. Oh! Wow. wow. Bless you. Ori, what's that, you? Yep. Once you learn to do that, that's amazing. I don't know. It just kind of came to me when we, after the last time we won a fight and said, and we got stronger. Hi. Good job, boy. He walks up to you. It's still a little cut up. Oh, fuck. Uh, checking the door, uh, Duncan, you see that it is locked from the outside. Um, you would assume barred because it cannot. I can't move it then. You can't move it. Lock down here. There, take, I would... uh, take a step back, Duncan. Right, I get out of the way. And uh, I lift up one. I have a. I li- raise up my left fist, and uh, it starts to kind of glow with golden light. And then I open my hand, and uh, two two streamers of golden light shoot out at the door. Uh, this is basically Eldritch Blast. At it. Nice. Two Eldritch Blast. Okay. Well... Uh, do I need to roll attack? Damage. I'm not going to make you roll to hit the the large ballroom <laughs> double door. Okay. First one's eight. Second one's uh, six. Eight and six. Uh, it will require a couple more blasts of that nature, but it's Eldritch Blast, so I allow you to do it. I'll just keep going. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, I can I can keep rolling if you want, but basically, I would, no. I would keep doing it until it's open. Yep. So he's doing he's blasting the door open. You can see splinters shooting off of it. Well, while he's doing that, I take advantage of the potions that I purchased to heal myself as well. I Remove. assume a potion of greater healing. Awesome. Just make sure you remove it from your inventory. And I um, go for 12. So what the hell do we do now once we get out there? I guess we stop that thing that made that noise. We're heroes, boo. Let's be heroes. Well, no fucking shite. Thank you. (laughs) Who the fuck do you think you're fucking talking? God fucking... I've been doing this game since you're a fucking... Sperm in their dad's no, fucking coat. Like, well, I'm just telling you. <laughs> <laughs> this is the episode where Bo has had enough of our shit. <laughs> I mean, you asked so. <laughs> You're way uh, to bring back a thing from Joe. That's not the plan. <laughs> Seems to be working so far. I tell you. <laughs> It's not a plan, it's a mission statement. <laughs> it's, a, it's a fucking goal! <laughs> right, when we get the door open, Joe is going to rush it headlong. You, Bo, you're going to do a flanking maneuver and get behind him. Then the rest of us are going to surround him and Bagby's going to come up off the top rope and just punch him from the sky. I liked it better when we didn't know. I like the Bagby part, though. I'm okay with that part, too. <laughs> it makes me feel like a spider. Like a spider goblin. Spider goblin, spider goblin. 
I mean, you couldn't let me drop a large, you know, exploding ball of ice on him first. I'm just saying that's a possibility. I'm just, you know. Well, how about that? Yeah, let's, have, let's incorporate that into the <laughs> I imagine, like, I had walked up about a minute ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're just, you're just hanging out. Oh, the door's open, by the way, guys. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> um, I'm drawing, um, ma- I'm drawing would, the map real like quick, to, sorry. Oh, yeah, uh, I would, before we go out, I would like to real quick use lay on hands to just top, top my HP off. Do it. Uh, four. Anybody's considering a class to play, I would really recommend Paladin. <laughs> <laughs> it's very fun. I like them very much for their combat abilities. I have played a Paladin in two campaigns. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, I roll like shit and literally everything that's not hitting things or talking to things, but that's why I got you guys. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you idiots are here. Yeah. Why do you keep calling my smite slots spell slots? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta hurry up and get another level so I can get a third level smite, spell, uh, smite slot. Actually, I might pick up Fly, just because that seems like fun. Spider Goblin, Spider Goblin, does whatever a Spider Goblin does. Can't she swing from her web? No, she can't, but she can run up walls. Look out, here comes the Spider Goblin. Would you guys like, uh, okay. Um, nah, fuck it. I don't care. <laughs> I no longer care about your opinions. The, uh... <laughs> Oh, yeah? Starting when, Mike? Gobble punch. Okay. Uh, you head out in... You head uh, out the door, I'm assuming? Yes? The six of you? Right in V formation, and I'm out front there gathering my power up just in case I got to throw something at everyone. You heard it. Duncan's taking the lead. Straight. Okay. Bold strategy, Cotton. Kind of bad idea, but it's all right. That's what I'm doing. All right, I'm so... right behind you, Duncan. <laughs> All right, so taking a look at the map, I will cut back. Um, Bo is not there. I mean, he is there, but he's not there. You see one uh, minotaur eating something over here. Um, You know, there's uh, fire on the stairs. Most of it. And down this hallway, which you know is the kitchen. You can see fire coming from that direction as well. Um, A statue that was here is in total rubble on the floor. Only the base remains. This statue is still in it. There are corpses and parts everywhere. The Minotaur does not seem to notice you. Do I see any other living thing or just the Minotaur? Is that it? Not that you can tell. Uh, There's, um, uh, you hear movement from other parts of the house and screaming from outside. Uh, You hear stuff from upstairs and um, the the um, a loud roar from somewhere else, but nothing directly near you. And that's just the one Minotaur, then? It's just the one. All right, who's directly behind me? Bagby is? Mm-hmm. Sure. I'll just look back at Bagby and I step aside. No giant ice ball. You want me to just go punch him? But there's just one of them, though. It feels... It feels... It feels wasteful just to do on one. Done. <laughs> All right. So you get. Uh, we'll. I'll give you one su- uh, surprise attack, 
And then we'll do initiative again. Great. <laughs> Surprise attack. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, 23 to hit. 23 to hit. And 15 to hit. And 17 to hit. Um, okay. The, the, you have to get a 16, so. There are two of them. Um, so we have 17 total damage. 17! Pop, pop! Okay, uh, do we want to keep our uh, old initiatives or do we want to roll new ones? Two of you had extraordinarily bad initiatives. I rolled a 19 for this new initiative. So <laughs> okay, so let's roll new ones. <laughs> <laughs> new then? Natural 20. 25. And 25. About the same, 16. I bet it's a bit better, I suppose. Ten. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Well done. And Joe? What was yours again? Oh, uh, I got a nineteen. Nineteen. Much better, much better, much better. I think so. Uh, I need to roll my new initiatives. Good old Bo. Initiative of two. Two combats in a row. <laughs> He's trying, damn it. He's there. He's definitely there. <laughs> that darn knee. It is. It, yeah, it doesn't help. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, so that's uh, Bagby first. Continue the assault. I shall. A one. Uh, 24. And a 2. That's 14. And a 3. That's 15. So, just one of those hits. One hits. 10 points of damage. Stunning strike. Con save. Oh, right. Sorry. No, you're fine. Um, that is a 17. Damn it. Okay. Fails. Okay. That is all. Okay. Ooh, shit. Didn't mean to move him away. He teleports away from you. There's nothing you can do. <laughs> <laughs> this one's special. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, after that is, uh, Ori. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's less than ideal, but uh, I guess I'll have him. I'll uh, take out my little friend, Mr. Bumblebee, and kind of make him glow and toss him forward at him, and uh, he'll do a Constitution saving throw. Constitution saving throw. Uh, 19. Nothing happens. <laughs> <laughs> the, the bee just doinks off of it and <laughs> why did you throw a bug at that thing <laughs> sometimes it's magic it's complicated <laughs> uh okay um, it's a really hard one okay <laughs> uh sounds okay great we're doing great Bagby. 
Hmm. Actually, this would be everybody. Everyone needs to roll a DC 15 con save. As an uh, ear-splitting roar echoes through this hall. Everyone near me gets a plus three. Ten, ten feet of me. That's uh, just... It looks like it's everybody except for Bo. And Bagby. And Bagby. And, yeah. and Bo fucked up hard. Thirteen... 21. 21. Did beat that one? 14. I feel quite nice about that CFO. Um, so yeah. who passed? Me. I did. Simple roar. Uh, Ori, Bagby, and Bo. Uh, did you fail, and either of you fail by f more than five? What was the DC? Fifteen. No. I only failed by one. Okay. Both of you, for the next minute, are stunned and deafened. As you are shooken, shaken, clean to your core. Bagby, you're able to look to your right. I'm going to go back to online to role playing real quick stepping from the rubble of the back went back room is something bigger oh shit oh no oh no and it's looking directly at you bagby should have taken a short rest <laughs> <laughs> and you had an hour <laughs> <laughs> i just have no key points left uh, I just wanted to clarify, Mike. Are they stunned for a minute, you said? A minute. It's ten rounds. It's ten rounds. <laughs> I know. I'm okay. Away. Anybody got removed condition? I might. No. Nobody who's not stunned. Ori, did you, did you add on my plus three on that aura? Yes. Ah, fuck. <laughs> I rolled a natural eight. It charges Bagby. Bagby, no! Um, it is a 17 to hit, Bagby. Nope. Does not hit. Uh, it does it have advantage? Stunned, I believe you get advantage when you're stunned. Um, let me double check. Yeah, I'm checking that too. Stunned condition 5e. Um, advantage. Yep. Yes. Um, then that is a 26. Yep, that one hits. It charges, lowers. Um, goes in almost a dog-like form, lowers its horns directly into Bagby. You need to roll a uh, DC strength 17, Bagby. Automatically fails as Automatically part of being okay. stunned. Sorry. Bagby, you take 28 points of damage, and it knocks you 15 feet this way as it hits you. All you can see is this thing come out of nowhere and punt and uh, headbutt Bagby well out of sight. You are face to face with the gore. Joe. Yep. 
You are muted. muted. You have muted yourself. I am unmuted. Um, I saw Bagley <laughs> go fucking flying, so I'm going to walk up uh, to basically where the the hallways end, if that makes any sense. Because mm-hmm. I've got reach with the spear. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm guessing these guys do too, but I'm still not going to get right next to him. Uh, and I'm going to uh, swing at him. And... Yeah, this is exactly the sort of thing Joe took the deal with Tay and all the fight. So, okay, uh, you would be able to real quick look over and see that Bagby is stunned, probably laying prone. And how bad a shape are you, Bagby? Um, I'm okay. Okay, I I was back to full health by the time we left that other room. Good. Good, good, good. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm not I'm not pleased right now. All right. Well, first one, first one missed. It was like 13. I love how I can make uh, myself angry. Second one, <laughs> second one's a 17. 17 hits. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a 16. I don't know why I said 17. It's uh, misses. Okay. <laughs> Casually lying over here. So. <laughs> Fuck, I missed with the last one. So I just swing at it a bunch and don't do anything. Okay. Oh, you said 16? Sorry. No, it is 16. Okay. Then I hit with one of them. Okay. Uh, he is going to... I'm going to re-roll that because I re-roll one going to take 13 damage and he's going to get smited. Uh, I'm guessing he's demonic. Too. Yes. Okay. Oops, I need to add one more D8 to that roll. I'm rolling with a level 2 spot. Um, 13 damage from the attack and then another 19 from the smite. So, okay. 22, 32. Okay. Jump. Yeah, and uh, that's it. Okay. Um, Duncan. Right. Um, see on that, what happened? Especially what happened to my best friend, baby. I used the last of my sorcery points to regain a fifth level spell slot, and I step up. To make sure that I could get the full blast um, on the Gorm, mm-hmm. so, I, so I step up a bit. Yeah, I put you right next to Ori. Oh, I'm the other one. Yeah. You moved Ori, not. Duncan. Oh shit! My right. bad. So I step up to make sure that I can see as much of that Gorm thing as I can, mm-hmm. and I again cast Cone of Frost. So I yells. Be chilled! And then I roll wild die. Are you aiming that directly at my butt? <laughs> or did he put you in the wrong spot? I want to be next to him. Oh, okay. Right, so it's not behind him so much. So melee range. Okay. All right, so first I got wild die. Oh, no! Oh, let's see what it is. Let's see what it is. I'm, I'm doing it. You tell me what you roll. All right, um, I roll 1d100, one D one, one D one hundred. 1d100. Wild die. 92. 92, wow, way up there. Oh, shit, that's a good one. If you die in the next minute, you immediately come back to life as if by the reincarnate spell. Reincarnate, which oh, is not man. resurrect. <laughs> Don't you need to that look means. that up. It's... <laughs> Pretty big deal. <laughs> yeah, look it up. <laughs> especially, <laughs> especially since you have walked melee range into the gore. <laughs> right. I, will, I, will, I will absolutely look it up. Do I still get to do my spell, or is that my spell? I think he's That is your spell. Yeah. It replaces your spell. Wild... It replaces the spell? Yeah, right. it replaces the spell. Shit. Wild magic replaces the spell. All right. uh, does he use the slot? Yep. 
He did every. He does everything the same. Just something different comes out. Okay. I, I didn't know. I, didn't, I really didn't know if he used the slot in a while, Magic. So reincarnate, then I'll look that up while you're doing other things. <laughs> so you hear, hear him, so everybody, you hear him, you know, and then just, he starts to glow a little bit, like shimmer. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to step back. <laughs> I just, I just look at him like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> oh, there's kind of part of me that wants to see him die. <laughs> oh, dude. I mean. <laughs> I'm looking it up now. So. <laughs> I think my favorite would be Halfling Duncan. Um, uh, Bagby, Bagby's, Duncan Bagby's got a... Oh! Oh, oh shit! Ba Bagby, Bagby's putting her hand up. What do you got, Bagby? You're muted. You're muted. Technically, according to the rules, wild magic doesn't happen until after they cast the spell. Oh. Um, the rules say immediately after you cast a sorcerer spell of first level or higher, um, you roll the d20 and then the random magic effect happens. Oh, okay. Technically speaking, do what you want. I'm just letting you know technically. No, okay. I mean, we haven't played it that way up till this point, but we can, yes. Great. Do your well, damage in your spell. Do your spell. Are you sure? Yes. I'm playing, playing it the way you've been said. Okay. I would prefer so, you to not get one shot without doing any damage. <laughs> <laughs> so both both then of those creatures need to make a dick save, or I'm sorry, a con save 17? Oh god, con save, why? You sure you don't want it to be a dead save, buddy? No. It's, it's, it's cold. I wish it were, but it's not the way it is. It's a con save. They're, they're chilly. They gotta resist the cold. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Um, that is a 16 from the gore. That is, he does not pass then? Uh, I don't know. Is it Xaxes? No, he needs to make 17. 17, so, so the gore does not pass, but the, um, the Minotaur does. All right. 8d8 damage then? 8d8, damage. Wow. So nice. 39 damage on the gore, and then half that on the other one, so the half one... That would be 19 on the other one? 19 on the other one. Um, okay. What are you doing? I'm sorry, Duncan. I kind of hope you die. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite possible. I mean, it, it, I mean I'm stunning right there. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh -oh. you'll, you'll be back. It'll be okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> Anything else? I had to restart OBS to make it work, though. Weird. Yeah. But we're back, though. Hey, everyone, how you doing, man? Oh. Don't, don't worry, we're back. Sorry about uh, dropping out there. I don't know what happened. Everything froze up. I don't know if you guys heard everything that happened, but uh, I'm hoping so. And uh, if not, real quick, uh, Jesus, that would that'd be a lot to miss. Uh and I don't know when it all went to shit, either. <laughs> well, I know you saw me move up there, so the worst thing they could have missed was that I rolled wild magic and it uh -huh. happened. And um, if I die soon, then I get reincarnated, and when I get reincarnated, that means I might... I'm most, well, I'm not going to be a water genasi anymore. It's what it comes down to. There's no fucking possibility of that happening. <laughs> I'll be something different. So now everyone wants me to die. Can we insert some other stuff into different gaps? <laughs> yeah, go nuts. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Make water genasi a slight possibility, but also throw in, like, well, Kanku. Kanku. <laughs> Minotaur? Kanku, goblin. Uh, Kanku, yeah. yeah. Aarakocra. Aarakocra, <laughs> yeah. He's a bird person now. <laughs> We don't need him to strut any harder than he currently does. <laughs> burn, burn, burn. B -b burn okay, so that was that was Duncan's turn. He that, uh, Kona called him too. He uh, did. Right. That, sure. that leads us to Crucible. Crucible, you are up. I am stepping uh, slightly down, so I've got a good um, I'm line put, of sight. He's I got right you there. right there. Yeah, line of sight on the big guy and I am casting guiding bolt. Do it. Uh, 
21 to hit. I've got a pace. I'll be right back then. Okay. <laughs> so that's eight dice, six damage. Thirty damage total. Damn. Nice. It's a heck of a guiding bolt. You guys are going in on him. I like it. Okay. Um, these are always boys. They don't do well. Uh, our other dude here, his turn. He's going to uh, do what the only thing they know how to do, and they're going to charge. Well, so, Joe, do your thing. Is yeah. Him, yeah. yeah. They're not smart. <laughs> well, and he didn't see that. Yeah. Uh, 23 to hit. So he does not get all the way to me anyway. Okay. He uh, takes eight damage. Eight. Literally the lowest roll I can do. Shout out. All right. The concept of pikemen was never really grasped by the Minotaur. Yeah. Um, it uses its fire attack on you? Yep. That's a 26 to hit. I'm really glad I healed myself to full. <laughs> um, nope, 24 to hit. So my apologies. Yeah, no, either way. Um, and it's whoop, rolling the wrong thing. Uh, it's 14. Ouchies. Okay. You got it. Fire resist. You got to pay the toll to. Getting the Minotaur's soul. The, um... Uh, that takes us to Bo. Bo. Who, I'm going to see if he notices that Ori can't move. Does stun mean you can't move? You can't do shit. Yep. Your eyes can move, I think. Incapacitated, you can only speak like... He does not. He would run up and... He would run by, I think, and go looking for Bagby, so he's going to take up attack for opportunity here. One, two, three, four, Don't die five. on my account. Speak only falteringly. Don't... Wait, that's all the farther... Never mind, that's all the farther he can get. Um, so he's going to attack. Um, miss and miss. Okay, that's where Bo is. Uh, back to the top. Bagby is done. Do you get a roll against that? Um, it depends on the, the oh, way I sh the did I tell you? Did I tell you that you're also deafened? Yes. Did I say that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, it's based on how the thing is written. Um, it doesn't say that you have an opportunity to do anything afterwards. Like on their turn? It yeah. Doesn't say they get a roll? No. Okay. And yeah, you don't by default. Yeah, it, it is usually written into the thing. Um, something with that long of a condition time, um, seems like there would be in, but... If that's how it's written, it's how it's written. Uh, I'll let you roll, and I'm going to put it at uh, just a... I'm going to put it at, like, a DC 17. Okay? Okay. I'll make it hard. Yeah, it is uh, unlikely. It's a con, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's unlikely I'll ever get out, but that's that's cool. At least I roll once a turn. Oh, hello! 18. I rolled a 16. <laughs> okay. You are, oh. you are still deafened, but you are no longer stunned. Okay, I can take deafened. I don't need to hear to punch things, um, but that does consume their action for the turn to get out of it. Okay. So that is, I yeah, I'm just no longer stunned. Okay, great job. Mm -hmm. um, and Ori, would you like to roll con DC as well? That feel, I didn't want to just have you guys sit there for the rest of this. <laughs> no, I appreciate it. I. Yep. That seems very intense um, of a <laughs> thing. It's a, pretty, it's a pretty intense creature. 21. 21. Uh, yeah, hey. Con save, you get out of there. 
You're no longer stunned. You are still deafened. Ma. 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 Okay. Um, back to its turn. It's going to start by... Uh, it lets out a low guttural... It, you can see its stomach move, and it lets out a low guttural vomiting motion as gas sprays from where its mouth should be. There's holes lining, and it starts to go in front of you. In a cone... 30 feet in all directions, so that hits everybody except for Bagby. Um, you need to roll a con 15, everybody. Except for me? Except for Bagby. Okay. I, must, I must ask, is it, an, is it an acid attack because they get resistance to that? If it uh, is? Noxious gas. doesn't say. Poison damage. Poison, great. Okay, then. Um, just to check again, Mike, is it a, um, is it a spell? Uh, I think it's a spell-like ability, yes. Okay, so I would take half damage then. Um, and I'm sorry, what did you want us to roll? A DC 15 con save to get, uh, half, you're gonna take damage no matter what. Fuck, I got 10. And Duncan, you get an extra three from being by me, not that you need it, never mind. Great pretty well with con saves. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I'm just barely in range. So, uh, anybody who doesn't pass uh, takes 35 damage. Okay, and I'm taking half from the my spell reduction. Yep, half thing. and half, so you'll and be... that would also apply to Duncan and Bo. Duncan and Bo? They would... Okay. I, I feel like Duncan would take half of half then. Yeah. Half of half. Oh, so, right. that's... All right. 17, then... 17, then... 8 or 9? 9, yeah. Uh, 8, yeah. Do 8, right. <coughs> <coughs> Who farted? Sorry. And then it's going to punch Duncan. Arceus? And I used my reaction, right, to stop that one? Uh, Yeah, you did. Okay. Uh, and that's 18 to hit. Uh, I will, as a reaction, I'll cast shield, which makes it. Well, I cast shield, so I've got to roll um, a wild damage, but um, then it's exaxes. Okay. Your wild damage has re reset, though. Well, exaxes right. still hits you in this. In, Great. In this. But he has a shield for the rest of the round. Okay. Though. So. Okay. And. That is... Wild damage, I'm fine. Or wild magic. I'm it's not the right dice. Uh, uh, 17 damage as he punches you. Okay. Um, then it's actually going to try to... Uh, no, it's not. It would, that doesn't make any sense. The, um, okay. It's Joe's turn. Hey, Joe. My turn. I'm going to swing at the gore because mm -hmm. he's hit my buddy Duncan. Um, wow. That's, uh, I rolled a two, so that misses. Uh, next one's an 18. That hits, right? Mm-hmm. He's going to take 11 damage from the hit. I'm going to smite his butt. No, know why I censored myself. <laughs> uh, if this guy takes extra damage from Radiant, there's 12 Radiant added on to that. He does take extra damage from Radiant. Okay, so 11 regular, 12 Radiant. And I'm going to whack him one more time with the butt of my spear. That one hits. It's 21. Do... That's going to be eight damage. Okay. And I'm going to use my very last smite slot. <laughs> most people call them spell slots. I know what most <laughs> Holy shit. That is almost max damage. 22 radiant. Nice. 
Okay. Good job. Now I'm just a fighter at this point. <laughs> a shitty fighter. <laughs> I'm a shitty fighter now. Okay. Uh, that takes us to Duncan. Um, I will throw... Um, no. I'm going to... Uh, I'll go ahead and, and misty step away from him then. So I don't want to die. I don't want to. <laughs> okay. So misty step away. Does that crew an attack for opportunity? Misty step does okay. not. Uh, how far so, away you want to go? Let's go. Um, let's go to Bagby. <laughs> I'm gonna go home. I'll misty step over to Bagby. <laughs> okay. And wild next magic? to or behind? Behind. Okay. Fifteen for my wild magic, so I'm fine there. You're fine. Bagby, are you right? She can't hear me, so that's fun. <laughs> I okay. tap her on the shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Just <laughs> popping out of there like a fucking jerk in the box. Um, Can you hear me? <laughs> I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. I'm getting, I can't hear you. All oh, right. That's what that means then. <laughs> <laughs> Crucible, would you like to do something useful, please? <laughs> yeah, realizing that if I take another shot like that, I am not long for the world. I do cast Cure Wounds on myself. Selfish prick. Go ahead. Yeah. And heal for 19. Okay. Good job. Would you like to move? I, uh, Use any bonus actions? Flip the bad guy the finger. Um, bonus action casting spiritual weapon. Okay. Where would you like to put the spiritual weapon? I'm going to whap the big guy. Okay. Uh, this is a lower level, though. Put so. it right here. And I nine. Oh, oh no. Shit. Oh no. Critical fail. Uh it just misses. It. Okay. That um takes us to and then the Corbound itself is going to attack. Bow! Ah! Throwing things. Crit. Uh, Min Minotaur boy is attacking bow. Minotaur boy is attacking bow. I'm gonna. He, he still is gonna get to attack him, but I'm. I get to take it with Sentinel. I get to take a whack at him if he hits anybody near me. Okay. Uh, you get to take a whack at him then. He hits him once, but it's a crit. Okay. Twenty-seven uh, to hit. It hits. Takes ten damage. Okay. Um. How much fucking shot? Six. That was a big hit. Okay. Um. Uh. Bow's turn. Bo will hit back. <laughs> Jesus <Bless> Christ. <laughs> I'm sorry. My allergies. Bo uses and miss. a sonic attack. I think we <laughs> need to record that sound. That was amazing. <laughs> it, was, it was the sound of making the GM shit his fucking drawers. Sorry for anybody with headphones. <laughs> I apologize. That's just my sneeze. 
No, it's quite awesome. It was a wonderful sneeze. Thank you. Okay, baby. Um. Okay. I'm going to run up um, and flank the Minotaur with uh, Mr. Bow. Okay. But then, like, punching range. I'm going to punch it. Yes. Um, are you using flanking rules? I can't remember. Yes. Okay, so advantage. Advantage. Back. Roll six dice. So that's a 26 to hit on the first one. Hits. A, a 19 to hit on the second one. Hits. Um, I will do the damage on those first, even though I rolled a third hit to decide if I want to use Flurry of Blows. Um, so the first two do 16 damage. Okay. Is he still up? Yes. Okay. Um, I will use my last key point to do Flurry of Blows on him and do two more do it. um so one was 25 hit to hit and the other come on natural 20 nope just 20 hit um seven more points of damage okay good job um wait that was that was two so i need to roll one more uh seven and seven so four yeah another seven Okay. So many dice. What is that crazy background sound? It's cars going oh, by. It's the dice. It's the <laughs> dice roller. Oh. Yeah. They're frozen dice, and so they melt away in the wind. Right. It looks cool. It does look very cool. <laughs> it sounds it like is. cars racing by your house. But... <laughs> <laughs> um, I can mute this site. I'll you're fine. It. Ori. Um, I'm going to. I see that uh, Joe and Bo over there are taking quite a beating, so I uh, summon up the strongest Lawrence I've got left. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I'm sorry, Hugo. That was. <laughs> then, uh, hey, Stephanie. Yeah, they will. Um, eat, they'll each have their own role. Uh, Is it on our turn? I can't remember. And the roll for healing is uh, 3d6. Is that on our turn? Uh, it's when you enter the square and on your turn, just like Moonbeam, except it's good. Okay, do I heal now, then? Yes. Okay, please. 3d6 to bow. Seven for me. Thanks, Ori. Okay. Um, I think Bo's died like twice over at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Technically taken enough damage to have died many times. In this fight or in general? In general. It just, in, in this building. It, it just keeps getting <laughs> healed. It's, he's having a hell of a day. It's, just, <laughs> it's old bones. <laughs> <laughs> I would think this would be one of the best days of his life. So much fighting. Yeah. What is, Ori, what is the range on the elk? In, immediate surroundings. Yeah. Five feet. Yeah. Oh, okay. Touching it. Um, okay. And that takes us to Big Boy. Uh, he's going to. He, well, I can hit Joe from there, but he'll move in a little bit, I guess. <laughs> he wants to get up close and personal. Yeah, he does. Um, Joe. Yes. I've got nothing. Like, I got nothing. <laughs> 18 <guys>. to hit. <laughs> Miss. Yay. Uh, 21. Hit. 25. That's a hit. <laughs> so one, he punches you one, misses you, dodge one punch only to get hit with the hook, and then he drops the horns on you. He's got a hook. There's left hook. 
He's a hooker? Oh. You're a hooker. Hook for hands. <laughs> I thought he had like a hook for hands. I know what you did last summer. <laughs> the punch, um, punch deals, uh, 10. And okay. the horns. Fucking trying to. You mess with the gore, you get the horns. Ah. Uh. Tired, okay. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> and the horns deal uh, 13. Okay. Oop, 23. Okay. Speaking of taking enough damage to have died a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the healers. This is my second time into the 30s. Stephanie is... The moose, heal, the elk healing everybody. <laughs> it's been a while since you've shown up. Yeah. Um, and that leads us to... Shit. Uh, Joe, it's your turn. Um, I'm going to take my healing first. So, 3d6. Uh, another 7. I'm going to uh, get healed by Lawrence... I'm just going to I'm just going to kind of go spit out some blood. I love that fucking elk. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to take a swing at the uh, at the gore cuz he's swinging at me and I don't like it and I miss with my first attack. Fire and I miss with my second attack. Fire and I miss. Distracted. Fire and I miss. Fire and I miss. Um and then for my bonus action, I'm actually I'm not sure I've ever used this. I'm going to use my uh, uh, one of the warlock features where uh -huh. I can, as a bonus action, I can use 3d6 to heal myself. Oh, ho, ho. Or heal anyone, actually, but I'm going to use it. Let's time. be honest. It was never going to go anywhere else. Well, I'm the one taking the damage, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's uh, taking some to, damage. Okay, so I took uh, 10 healing, and uh, I'm going to go check my blood sugar real quick. Be right back. Okay. Um, 10 healing. Okay. And that takes us to uh, Duncan. Of course it does. Do I get a sense of how ragged everyone is up there? Uh, your teammates? Right. Um, I have no idea where Joe's at. I think he's hovering around half health. Uh, Bagby, where are, you, where are you at? How ragged are you looking? I mean... I'm still above half health. All right. I would describe... I, I keep refreshing the page, and I would describe everybody at about yellow. <laughs> right. Okay. Bo's Bo sitting about yellow as well. Yeah. If we were a stop sign, we would be... <laughs> hey, maybe you should pause. Caution. <laughs> right. Fine, then. Well, first thing I do is I convert some of my spell slots to sorcery points, so that I might cast um careful spell so everyone in the radius will automatically um uh pass their their um their save throw but i gather all the power around me and i and i yell and i yell you're up and i bring an ice bowl down right on top of the of the big gore thing there mm -hmm. just right on top of them it's got to Do make it. a dick save a 17 and I've got to roll my wild die. My wild, my wild die is five. Whew. Eighteen. Shite. Half and, damage then. And the other guy's still in range. Uh, full right. damage. Full damage to the other dude. All right, then I get to roll. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Um, that'll be eight d six then. Here we go then. 34 damage. So everyone in there that takes half damage would be, what would that be? That'd be 17 damage. 17 damage. Did I just get ice ball? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> but you, you automatically pass the save throw though, because I right. passed it careful. So you just take 17 damage. Well, I appreciate that. Dungeon. Well, <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't have a lot of things I can do other than like big things. And I'm just trying to make sure you, you know, Okay, so uh, you kill you kill the the Minotaur. He gets riddled with ice shards and falls over. 
Flat. Um, Mike, uh, yep. Bo and myself take half damage too from spells. So half that. We take a fourth. So that's... Oh, perfect. Then. Eight or nine. Eight. I don't know. Eight. 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 And that was a dexterity saving throw. That was a dick save. Then I take no damage. Oh. Well, there you go then. Because of evasion. <laughs> uh, I just was giving you. Well, that time. worked out quite well then, didn't it? <laughs> might have to do that again. <laughs> Get ready for more of that shit. Do <laughs> more, spell, not more spell slots for that one. <laughs> <laughs> you were just God. You were the worst. How many fireballs do you have? Got quite a few. Probably got a lot. I'm not gonna lie. I've got quite a few. You use three, third or fourth. <laughs> He's a one trick pony, but it's a hell of a trick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Crucible. I can use that spell on. But then that say I'm done. So I just like, stand Again, there. Again, the being in time. line of sight. Do you remember when Duncan had to be creative with his spell usage? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It was um, a good time. Like I it? said, he mostly threw water around. Uh, casting Guiding Bolt once again. Oh, shit. I totally forgot about that. I could have had advantage on my first stack. Oh, well. I guess Crucible has advantage on this one? Uh, nobody used it. I guess. Yeah. All right. Well, I could use it because an 11 is <laughs> not going to hit. Critical! Wow. Oh, to be. Oh, that's radiant damage, too. What the crit does. Um, that is. 7 die 6 damage. Twenty-eight. How much is that with radiant? I don't know. <laughs> What's up, Mike? What does Radiant add? It, it's just, it's if just a, a type. If a creature has like a vulnerability to it, it would double the damage. Doesn't say anything about it. Twenty-eight damage. You knock it back, a loud roar erupts from it. That clearly hurt a lot. Something like that. Mm hmm. Roar. <laughs> and then uh, the spiritual weapon. And basics. Well, I was. Good to hit on the other one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep. Okay, miss and uh, back to the top, Bagby. Okay, I'm going to run in and punch the gore. So you do have advantage here for your first attack. Ooh. I feel like you haven't used Fury of the Small in a while. Um, that's because I used it last round and we haven't rested yet. Yeah. I missed you. Um, so 17 for hits number one. Um, oh, I only have advantage on the first strike. Yeah, um, with so Guiding Bolt. 17 for the first hit, 16 for the second hit, and 25 for the third. All three hit. Bam! 11 plus 9, 20 plus... Uh, 10, 30 points of damage. Ooh. Bagby starts wailing into it. Go for the knees. Bagby, if you choose, since you entered the area of Lawrence, you may get healed. Yes, please. How many knees? 3d6. Bagby? Mm hmm. How do you do it? <gasps> <laughs> no! <laughs> um, I would like to crawl up this beastie 
in my acrobatic running up, I'm gonna take a hold of one of his horns, and I'm gonna do like the double high low bars gymnastics swinging on it until I rip it out of his head and <laughs> kills him because it's connected to his brain. <laughs> <laughs> the beast reels back screaming. All manner of noise come from erupt from it. Yeah, it feels really like that's a bad sign that I can't hear that. <laughs> It, oh, yeah, stum- <laughs> it, stumble- it stumbles back o- over the stairs and falls down the stairs. It starts grasping at things around it, clawing mad uh, crazily. Last thing it does it is it, it <laughs> reaches up to its own head and splits it apart. As black ooze starts to fall out of it onto the ground. Its car- its carcass falls over. Gross. Hey, Duncan. <coughs> you uh, <coughs> you done being a hero now? Can we go home? <laughs> <laughs> okay, get right. We're done. <laughs> Oh, fuck me. Oh, my God. Bo would heal one more time before and, Lord uh, fades. And I would use the last of my healing uh, lay on hands on Bo so he heals another 12. It's a lot. I don't know. <laughs> I start oh, walking back towards him. <sighs> To look down that stairwell. That's what I want to do. What stairwell? You said he fell down the stairs. And he, no, he he, he fell. He stumbled. That's a stair up. He oh, he's, he he kind of stumbled backwards and fell over the over the side of the stairs. Um, so what's that black ooze doing then? It's just ooze in there. Uh now that you're looking at it, it's very slowly move uh, drip. Uh, moving away in any cracks it can find. I walk up to the group. Is it dead? (laughs) I tried to freeze it then. (laughs) It's all I can think to do. Okay. So I'll throw... Let's just see frostbite at it then. Okay. If it if it can make con saves, I guess it has to make a con save seventeen. It does it does not need to make it. The whole thing freezes and you can hear a small screeching sound as it does it. We've got to get something to put that in. Uh Hello, anybody? <laughs> I see your mouth moving, but I don't understand what you're saying. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I fucking... I... I... <laughs> Get... uh, I'll run to the kitchen and see if I can find, like, a spatula or something. <laughs> okay. I have an empty bottle from my potion of healing. If we want to try to scoop something into that, I just don't know how much we can get in there. You're saying this fu- thing's still fucking alive? Is there any vases or anything? Bo just starts stabbing the goo. (laughs) (laughs) I do. I run to the kitchen and see if there's like a bowl or something in there. Like something something to scrape it up with. Okay, you open the door and the kitchen is very on fire. (laughs) All right, then. (laughs) (laughs) It's on fire, then. It's frozen at this point, Bagby. (laughs) (laughs) uh, Is there a vase or anything in the... In the that hasn't been uh, completely destroyed in the sure why not <laughs> one priceless I, I walk up vase. I walk up like here Duncan with this huge fucking priceless <laughs> vase. <laughs> Joel, can keep you tripping? <laughs> it's frozen right now. Can you like chip it up or something so we can 
and then use something to scoop I, it in here. I don't want. I I'm use, not touching it. I use my axe shovel that I got. I don't know when, but it's been <laughs> in my inventory, <laughs> and I, I cut it up into manageable pieces and scoop it into the thing without touching it. Actually, halfway through, I remember something and hand the shovel to Bo and tell him, like, oh, shit, the elves! And I run back in there <laughs> to make sure that they're not all murdered. Uh, the the ballroom? Yeah. Uh, you don't find any... I mean, you find the two that fell in dead with right. the uh, minotaur. Um, Bo's just sitting there holding the shovel, like, okay. <laughs> Get the rest of it in there, bull. Scoop, yeah, scoop it up. You can help too, you fuck. I'm, ho I'm holding the boss. And, hey, what do you want? Fine. I put this down. <laughs> and I like poke at it with my staff because that's all I've got. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of liquid. Can't you like pick it up or whatever? I don't know. That's, that's, good. that's a good point. No, you yes, can't. <laughs> <laughs> Let me answer that for you. Since I probably well, well, want do it. somebody run to the kitchen and then go like, fuck that because it was on fire. Yeah. That seems pretty nonverbal to me. So I would go in there and I would start doing a big gust of wind to try and put the fire out. <laughs> yeah, oxygen puts That's out fire. Fire <laughs> spreads it all over the place and it just bursts. The okay, so you do that. The backdraft and the whole house. Uh, go ahead and roll a deck saving throw, Ori, real quick. <laughs> draft this is how alec baldwin died you son of a bitch oh or was it billy baldwin i can't I guess remember i was just going on how the spell was written instead of on physics uh, <laughs> ten. ten uh you're only slightly singed you take see one damage there, and i run over there and i cast create water and I have it start raining in there all over the all over the fires. Okay. But I've got to roll wild magic, so let's see what's gonna happen here. I don't know. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> oh, I forgot to say I, I stabbed Duncan in the back. It definitely it definitely does not. We're not gonna see the I thought there was a real chance. Uh, oh yeah. I mean, that's just efficient. We don't have to heal him if he goes back to full health after <laughs> just reincarnate man or something. <laughs> oh wait. Okay, so I was just uh, uh if there are no live elves there, I'd probably go to the window and look out. If there's like no elves, then I'd say fuck it and go back. Um you go to the window and look out and you go ahead and roll perception. Oh, that's what I'm good at. There's some stuff you get no matter what, but... 11. 11. Well, there's more dead elf, elven warriors out there and a couple more minotaurs. The surrounding um, uh, exterior wall, uh, like privacy wall, is broken in multiple places. And you can see a couple nearby buildings are on fire. Uh, I would just kind of mutter, thanks for the help, Dale. And then run back. Okay. Um, you have all no. of the goo in the Ming vase that you know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, guys, the whole neighborhood's on fire. We gotta get the fuck out of here. Bagby and Ori can hear at this point. Go. <laughs> I kind of liked being deaf. <laughs> <laughs> To the sewers! You can't the be. Kitchen's on fire. You can't be deaf because they're all dumb. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Leave by the most expeditious and appropriate means. Well, that'd be you, Joe. And then I slap him on the back and I heal him for three da plus four. Okay. You roll that, or do I? I do. Okay, heal you for 14 with cure wounds. Appreciate it. Um, okay, so are the kitchens not on fire? I'm, I'm a little out of the loop. Sorry. He put the, sure, he put it out. Kit, I know. He put it out. <laughs> um, 
Okay. I, I grab the vase and follow them as I assume they all run for the kitchens. Um, getting uh, to the kitchen, um, you find the uh, way down that um, uh, what is it, Ori is aware of. I have you're all aware of. I think you use this way in. Um, you uh, start heading down those stairs and you there was fighting in these stairs at some point there's uh dead workers um ser uh, service people and a few nobles you get down to the storeroom uh sorry duncan you're about to say something to make sure of that um you know that i used um shape water to seal the top of that vase okay so I use I froze it up there, so it can't, whatever's in there can't get out. Just want to make sure that's clear. Okay, that's fine. Um, you uh, get down to the storeroom below, and uh, it's uh, more of the same. This whole thing's blown out, and the door leading into the sewers is completely destroyed. Rubble followed or fall uh, falling around it, but there is still an opening there leading into the sewers. I would very carefully make my way past the rubble so I don't trip and drop the base. Okay. Um, you head out. Roll perception. Thirteen. <laughs> Four. Nice. Eighteen. Ten. Ten. Twenty-three. Um, Crucible and Ori, your everyone else seems to pass. Uh, uh, you're towards the back, we'll say, and you hear a small utterance from to your right as you walk out. You look over and you see Keen, real fucked up, lying on the ground, trying to talk to you. That's both Ori and Crucible. Yeah. Well, uh, hey, Crucible, you got any rope? Yeah. Hey, uh, Time to my back. <laughs> and I turn into a mule. I'm not even sure I want to have him live. Nice. Look at this. Sorry, piece of shit right over here. It's not even remotely what a meal. <laughs> okay. okay, there you go. Good job. I bring, I bring oh, him sorry, to... Sorry, you called us back. Yeah. Yeah. What's he saying? He's trying to mutter something. It's very quiet, though. There's, he's wearing the clothes. He was digitation to make his voice louder. Oh, okay. <laughs> is is uh, uh, clothes that he was wearing before are torn and revealing a very shiny chainmail underneath that is totally torn through in a couple areas. Um, is outside or is insides or outsides in a couple places. Hey. What happened to a nicer guy? Hey, how the how the fuck did you get out of there? <laughs> you sons of bitches! You're, <laughs> you're, you're the best. You're the best. Uh, uh. Hey, uh, all them rich rich fucks dead. A lot of them are. Good. Good, good, good. You seen any uh, Adenians in there? And I invited some. I was hoping to wipe out the court a little bit. <laughs> Fuck. 
what killed you? Oh, you know, just one of them big bastards running through there. In fact, the biggest bastard running through here. He's dead. Oh. Uh, letter. Oh, I hope that's true. I don't give a fuck about them. That cult thing, by the way. That's true. I don't. It's just wanted to kill a lot of them. But. Yeah. Hey, uh, so, uh. Y'all gonna heal me? Uh. Nope. Okay, I thought I'd ask. You want me to finish you off? Make it quicker? Uh, uh, no, that's not how I do. Uh, give me a hand up. I'll try to walk for it. You can see one of his legs is basically holding on by a thread. I, um, I'm holding the base, so I do not help him up. Well, can you help him along then? Is that something that you know, you do? You're talking to Bo? The Crucible? I mean, if that's his choice, I'm not going to go out of my way to kill him. If he wants to go. Hey, can you do me a favor? We know how this is going to go. Get me to my feet and uh, do it in my back. I told everybody I'd die from getting stabbed in the back. I don't want to be a liar on my way out. Mostly you just got one foot, but all right then. Uh, Should I help him up to his one foot? Hey, uh, thank, thank you, Duncan. Thank you, Duncan. I, uh... Gently set the vase down and pull out my dagger. Okay. He's like hopping and climbing along the side of the tunnel. I'll see you guys later. Have a good one. See you later. And then I put it right, right where his heart is. Through the back. And then I kind of help him Help him to the ground. Doesn't say another word. Hey, Joe, while you're there, you should probably search him. If I remember right, he's usually covered with magic shit. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I think about, like, how this day has gone, and I'm like, all right. Yeah, fuck it. Let's Why not? Let's not pretend we're not above <laughs> looting old kids. No, nope, this is how we this is how we finance this shit. Um, okay, I guess I'm gonna loot him. If anyone else would like to help me, someone good at investigation, maybe that would be great. <laughs> A roguish character of any kind. <laughs> uh, I can it, try to help since I suggested it. Um, just investigation, uh, Mike. Um, yeah, who's, you may both roll investigation. Okay. 19. I got a 10. But. 19. 10, you know, his armor's real shiny. But it's real fucked up. It would need repaired, whatever it was. No, I'm not gonna take his armor off. Um... Bagby, you find uh, an empty bottle along his waist um, that's tied to it very specifically. Um, you also find uh, a, a pan flute and a dagger that's jewel encrusted. Um, I'll smash the empty vial, oh, just because I don't trust anything that's on his person, 
and I'll take the other two things. Okay. Um, on top of that, you find 87 gold. So. Ooh. Gold? <laughs> Will he be carrying more than that? I'll, I'll be honest with you. Eighty-seven. That. <laughs> That's keen. That's he's not big. like you guys. He doesn't just walk around with every penny he's ever fucking earned in his life. <laughs> we don't trust true. banks. <laughs> Y'all just burned down one of his admitted houses. He didn't burn it down. He, bur he burned it down. Let's be honest. He burned it down. <laughs> it's 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 you know. It's gonna need some renovations. Uh, I, I would just put his arms over, kind of more peaceful looking, uh, and then I grab the base. We're in the sewer, right? Yeah. I'm gonna push him over the edge. Uh, before you do that, I I will take the two the, the five minutes to do a quick ritual. Well, she did already did it. Well, I if Crucible wants to do something, I would be respectful of that. Okay. Before I push him over. Okay. All right. Quick ritual. Bagby shoves the turd into the turd river, and he floats away. Well, he sinks. He's wearing chainmail armor. Oh, like a turd, is still a turd. Like someone should say a few words, but Crucible did. That's true. Uh, can I say, can I say something? Sure. Right. This vase is getting heavy, and fuck that guy. Let's go home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's not pretend he was ever nice. All right, fuck. Oh, that's true. That's cool. Um, so, I imagine Duncan would guide. Yeah. Right, right, I guide everyone back to the to our place. <laughs> you could put the va you could put the vase on the Ori, jackass. Do you really trust that? Because <laughs> Ori is a jackass right now. <laughs> I was wondering the phrasing of that. Was that Ori jackass or were you calling Joe a jackass? Two jackasses, one jackass. <laughs> Seeing as he doesn't have a saddle or a place to, you know, put it or anything, I think I'm just going to carry it. You arrive home to your headquarters. Take a quick look around then. Make sure everything's all right. Good call. Since he's been here, it wouldn't be too terribly uh, unsuspected for him to have sent people here. Hey. Okay. the fuck is that? There's a source. Want me to roll something for that? Um, yeah, perception. I can do that. Eleven. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and spend a luck point just because. Okay. Seventeen, quite, but I like that better. Seventeen. Uh, you. Uh, <laughs> you walk in, and you in that underground common room basically that you guys end up at a lot you find uh, Bob and Herschel hanging out Herschel's back to his normal self Herschel Bob how are you now I'm good had to scare off some guards that were trying to put out the check on the fire, but I'm okay. You look like shit. We've had a bit of a day. Not gonna lie. Is everything <laughs> all right in here then? Because I'd like to take a bit of a nap if that's okay. Oh yeah, no issues. Right, right. Where do you guys think we should store this? The kitchen for now, I guess. I that's probably the best place to go. Put a sign on it that says not butter. I don't know. This <laughs> used to be like a proper household. Do you think there's a safe somewhere? 
let's see if there's some kind of saran wrap or something we could <laughs> go ahead and seal this up with then. Yes. Wax. Actually, they could have wax. <laughs> like the house, the house could have wax. You could have wax. You could seal it up with wax. I'll, I'll let that happen. You know, Ori, that's a good point. Hey, Herschel, you've lived here the longest. Is there a safe in this house? Oh, goodness, no. Okay. There's a pantry? That? Is that the most secure place, then? It's got a door. I mean, there's a vault. That's what I mean by safe, Herschel. The first we're hearing about a vault? Show us to the vault. It's the first you've asked. Could you please show us to the vault? <laughs> please take us to the vault. Okay. He sails straight through the fireplace. Okay. No, back. Come back here. Oh, I'm sorry. Please there's, take us the corporeal way to the vault. There's the button. Here. And he points at alongside the fireplace. Well, I pushed the button. It uh, unlocks. Now you gotta, you gotta push it. You gotta, you gotta push the shelf. Push the shelf. You find yourself in a what can only be described as a ritual room covered in symbols of Baphomet. Oh, son of a bitch! I don't want to leave this in here. <laughs> Does it feel right? No. Nope, this this is wrong. Fuck, where's the pantry? Pa <laughs> what? Pantry's, pantry's just off the stairs leading up to the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to close this up and pretend like we don't know where it is. I'm going to go ahead and break the button so no one can get in here ever again. Oh, okay! Um... So I, I take it over the pantry, and uh -huh. as I set it down, um, I would just try to do my uh, detect evil thing. Uh, do I get demonic? Actually, do I get celestial, undead, or demonic out of it? Um, you get demonic. Okay. Yep. It's uh, uh, still demon goo, so... Nobody, uh, nobody open this up, please. We should probably take this to, I don't know, Krasden? Or, sorry, Kraskudin? I'm sure they'd be interested to know that we killed the gore and caught the juice inside of it. <laughs> we juiced the gore. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Mm, I don't like that. Well, Bagby uncorked it, and then it juiced itself. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Can we all go to bed now? Can yeah. we all go to bed now? Yes. So tired. Mm -hmm. I asked Bob to take to keep an eye on that thing in there, on the pantry. Just Bob, just just keep just keep an eye on it then. Just, mm. just okay. You're just gonna watch it, and anything happens, you just. You go get Joe, because I'm too tired to deal with it. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, then. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm having a medical concern here. Are you nodding, or are you having a seizure? <laughs> I for, go over and one. For myself. For, first, first one. He's nodding. Okay. <laughs> you all get a long rest. Have a bless. Crucible. A shower beer first. <laughs> Crucible. Man. You feel the rumbling and fall into darkness that you felt once before in your life. This guy. But as it pulls you, you forward, you can hear the roar, angry roars coming from that direction. You feel hate and anger. But all of a sudden you feel warm as you're catapulting in the opposite direction. Suddenly, you're moving away from the darkness into pure light. You sit before a staircase leading up to 
a massive set of scales held held by a skeletal hand. <laughs> He's not in charge yet. Thank you. We'll yeah. be back next week. Same bat time, same bat channel. Lovely. Lovely. I like it a lot. Ooh. Great job tonight. Guys, I thought I was going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I use everything I have. <laughs> <laughs> um, we will be back tomorrow for potentially the end of Blood Moon. Could be the end of Blood Moon. Potentially. And then Sunday, uh, you know, Distant Star. They have made it to the Razor Cliff Fortress, which things get spoopy now. Thank you very much for watching. It weren't spoopy before. Tune in later. <laughs> bye bye. See you later, everybody. Goodbye, bye, Internet. Well, You're my best all. friend. Wow. Just speaking, shit on the rest of us.